Doing playoffs. Oh yeah, all right. Um, do we do? No, nah, we'll, we'll do the abbreviated three five five five. Um, all right, we're we're just gonna do it. I guess I'll just do all these sims and then I'll start the timer. That was too much, too much strategery. Play, please. In the 1999 NBA the Indiana Pacers. Of course, I have to play the Pacers. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh, this is gross. This is this is gonna be rough. Come on, Latrell. Oh, you can just like actual actual blocks. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard to control and follow. I need just I need to get the hang of stealing. There are fouls. All right. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Latrell Screwwell. He doesn't have the cornrows. Turn off uh, fouls.
I can't play defense. I'm like scared to try threes. Three pointer. Indiana. No. David. Oh, free throws. It counts. Two points. One shot. I did not really understand that. I don't know. I don't have the game on, Josh. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on in this game. Fires for three. Oh, come on. All right, I got a rebound. We're learning. An updated list? An updated list of what? they make one too uh yeah uh do exclamation mark progress uh that'll show you all the games i've beaten what order i did it in all the games that are coming up etc shot no way you've got to be kidding me that is just not fair that's messed up HRG what's up dude oh dang, dang it I wasn't looking oh I actually got a steal all right don't that Thanks, HRG. Appreciate it, man. How you doing? You had your final fantasy list Monday. Two minutes to go. Uh, I'm doing okay. This game is like really bad and uh, I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time with it actually. I 
I like, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to play defense. Because every time I try to steal the ball, it's a, it's a reaching foul. Yeah, this is definitely a problem. That pass. You're so open. And yeah, I can't rebound for crap. And they score basically every time, like every possession. Did you miss it? Reggie had this like turnaround fadeaway three pointer, like out of nowhere. That was some crap. Ridley what, Josh? Oh, okay. Wait, what? How do I get that? All right, I got to figure out how to shoot free throws. So I don't, I don't know. Dude, they just left me open. Ridley season? I, what does that mean? Julio didn't, oh, Julio didn't come out of the locker room. I didn't see that. Crap. I save the trial. Oh crap. Defensive ball, second on Ward, Nick, number twenty one, two shot. Julio's dead. Damn. Oh, I really thought I was about to block that. Just rat. Oh, they're in bonus? Crap. I didn't realize. Uh, Pokemon Stadium, I, I'll probably use rentals. That seems like the more honest way to beat it. I really, really could have used that extra basket there at the end. Because then I would have gotten the ball. Like, oh, man. Could have been huge. Could have been up by six after this possession. Oh, no. I actually... Really?
Yeah, beating uh, beating stadium games with like with a transfer pack almost feels like cheating. Your season's over? Oh, because Julio. Girly TD. Ooh, this game. This game's gonna be a long one. Yeah, it's it really sucks losing to someone that just like didn't have a clue. Seriously, don't know how to play defense in this game. <laughs> yeah. So I have to play like actual defense or I just cover the lane, like cover the paint, like force people out and then hope I can jump and block a shot. So let me get you. Reggie. Oh, come on, go in. No. No. That's not what I need. Dude, how? How are you missing these shots?
Come on. Freaking Reggie Miller. Get another stop. How do I jump? I assumed it would just be B. No. I couldn't move. No way. Holy crap. All right. Well, it's just wide open. Damn. That's some Kittle karma. Dad texted me, he was like, everyone made fun of me for picking Kittle so early. Dude, this is getting out of hand. Five point lead is a lot in this game for what I'm capable of. All right, now we need to figure out how to shoot free throws. Oh, it's Z. Okay. Okay, apparently it's not Z. Yeah, it's, I was saying uh, earlier that I really thought, oh, well, first of all, they don't count the two-point conversion target as a target, apparently, because he dropped that one. And I really thought I saw him get targeted in, like, midfield at some random possession, and he didn't catch it. I feel like Yahoo missed a couple. Either way, ridiculous. One minute to go. Oh my god. Yeah, there's just like nothing I can do in this game. 
If they if they hit those threes, like what the hell am I gonna do? I can't hit threes apparently. Apparently I gotta steal though. So yeah, it's just a waste of 25 minutes now. That's my second made three. All right. GG's. In the 1999 NBA Finals, the Indiana Pacers versus the New York Knicks. Now let's meet the starting lineup for tonight's ball game. Here we go. Indiana ball. What? Yeah, I just can't. Cool. Cool game. All right, we both get offensive rebounds. Fine. Dude, go in. Crab tag. Now, if I could just do that every time, miss the three, get the offensive rebound, now we're talking. All right, and get a steal. Crap, I gotta figure out how to shoot free throws. So Jared, so now he has 22 catches and five touchdowns. I don't understand how to trigger that bottom bar. Yeah, five catches, three touchdowns. Crap. Yeah, uh, 
Can anyone look up real quick NBA the manual for NBA in the zone 99 and tell me how to shoot free throws? That's a bunch of points I missed out on so far. Charge. With authority. Google wasn't kind to of you? Yeah, usually, like, I just type the name of the game and N64 and manual. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and look in a sec. Found in the zone 98, damn it. Stop making threes! This is not fair. the same system in 98 let's see There's a rubber band in this game. Will they start making threes? How are you not changing to the guy with the ball? Yes. 
crap. At least it didn't end up being three. That was such crap. I thought he was dunking. No. This is just not fair. Oh my god, this game's so bad. God, this game. And they make everything. Like, this is just so stupid. And he missed that. Like, nope, just, just get me out of here. Like, what the hell? Basketball games make me so angry. They're just, like, they're so horribly made. Why do I miss every shot from the paint? Defensive foul. First time, Johnson. Nick, number two. They 
They missed one. Did that go in? I don't think so. See, this is not helpful for me. How? What is the button? Baba Kanoosh. What's up, dude? No, it's not any of those. What freaking button is it? Two minutes to go. Baba Kanoosh, we don't understand how to shoot free throws. Uh... I definitely could be better. I I have to do this. Are you playing Wave Race? What the hell is that? Co-op games? Nice. Just let me shoot that up. Those go in. It's like I have to like guarantee that I'm gonna dunk it or lay it up because those seem to always go in. No, stop it. I need to like waste as much clock as I can. One Crap. To go. Every shot. How can you not make one? This is so stupid. I'm gonna hit this three, of course. Cause why wouldn't they? Oh my god, everybody get out of there. I, I hate basketball games. They suck so much. I don't know how to make free throws. Thirty seconds to go. Thirty seconds, huh? Okay. That's not okay. I just wanted to pass the ball. Stop shooting threes. Last shot. <laughs> really? That's the shot I make. What a dumb game. One. How? How? 
How is it okay to miss all of them? And how are you gonna... No, you are not stopping. Big time. No, really. Good. Again, these freaking Reggie Miller threes. Such BS. Still, still can't make one. Just the actual dumbest thing. left me open. I'll take it. No, don't foul me. It's not fair. Two shots. That's it's just luck. Like I don't know how to stop the middle thing.
I think it's just luck. I mean, obviously, it's not. Like, there's got to be something. I didn't push a button. Oh, I missed. It is possible. Latrell. Thank you, Latrell. Yeah, no, just, oh, crap. Uh, I can't even pause it during this. Hold on. Thank God, we're back. Come on. Stop it. That's not fair.
Oh, come on, no. Taking it easy here. Oh, I literally didn't know that was a thing. Great. I think we play off. the block and everything. So yeah, free throw shooting. It's just uh it's a mystery. I feel like it might have to do with the joystick. It definitely has to do with the joystick. Just not sure what. jump for the ball. Alright. So it's definitely a joystick thing. 
we get our A press again. Is it left or right? No. Oh, I have to wait for him to finish dribbling. And then I, I think I just press up. You like have, they have to dribble first. I think I get it. Maybe not. I right. not sure. I'm gonna keep trying to get fouled so I can practice it. Oh, they're just fouling. Okay. Number seventeen. Two shot. That's new. Dude, what is going on? This is the rubber band land right now. God, dude, foul intentionally fouling is actually gonna work. Indiana, Davis, in for Davis, two shot. Except I'm amazing now. Missing. It's great, just waste time. Oh my god. They're really just gonna make this take forever. I know how to do it now. You guys are screwed. Oh man, I totally forgot that I have like a new thing I was gonna do when I beat a game. I totally forgot about it. No. You've gotta be kidding me. No. What a dumb game. What a garbage game. So stupid. 
un just unbelievable. The rubber, like, again, just insane rubber band. This is like hang time all over again. I hate every second of this. In the 1999 NBA oh, crap. What did I? No, get me out of here. We're going to try playing one more game. Just so stupid. I could have just shot uh, in, inbound and then shot a full court shot, and I would have been better off. Because they just, they, they didn't get a single steal the entire game. But the last minute when they were down, they got them. Cool game, Konami. Glad to see you still can't make those. Wow, man, I, I didn't think this late in uh, N64's life we'd have a, a contender, another contender for the garbage category. Uh, but we're this is this is up there now. This is getting there. We are getting there. Oh, Tony got another catch, but it was not a touchdown. He's hurting his uh his percentage. Yeah, he's ruining his ratio. That was the word I was looking for. Six catches, 98 yards, three touchdowns. It's pretty good. Pretty good line for a uh, last-minute waiver pickup. Two minutes to go. Jesus. A 30-yard rushing touchdown from Matt Ryan. How how do I jump? Dude, the end of that game was so stupid. Oh my god. What a waste of time. What an idiot. What a moron. Why can't they make any of these shots? What am I doing wrong? I didn't do that. Oh. A shooting foul. What? Yeah, get that out of here. Wow, that's incredible. How did Ridley not get a catch? I guess there's still a minute and a half, so he could still have like a full field touchdown and win it. One minute to go. Defensive foul. First down, Miller, Pacers, number 31. Yeah. 
53 seconds. Atlanta does have the ball. So anything's possible. No, girly. Aren't you already losing, though? Would that just make you lose by more and that'd be depressing? Oh, you're down by seven. Okay. Yeah, big Matt Ryan play here. Big Matt Ryan sack. Dang. The patches can't get in. What? Some crap. See, like I'm standing right there. If I try and steal the ball. It's a foul. Ah. 23 seconds. No. Make everything. No, Reggie. What the hell? Yeah, that's rough. Julio going down is just brutal. No. What the hell, man? This game. This game. Why? Like, this is unreal. He's going to make another three. I was not. I was not out of bounds. <laughs> Why does this exist? This is worse than hang time. Oh yeah, Gage wouldn't have gotten you anything. Gage did not. I mean, no one, no one on the Falcons did anything, right? Gurley did. Okay. Oh, 
12 of their 16 points, Dan. One minute to go. And probably a good chunk of their yards, too. Why didn't you dunk it? All right. Finally made one. Made one. Hell yeah. So you, you need more than 0.7 seconds to shoot the ball. Good to know. No. See, like, I just need to stick on Miller in the perimeter. <laughs> like, <laughs> just let let the CPU play D, and I'll just I'll just follow him. This is just getting dumb. Why? Make one. Good God. Three pointer. 
Yes. That they were going to call me for going out of bounds. You can't even make that! Why is this game broken? Jesus Christ. to stop them. Score too fast. Oh. What a freaking quarter. They like t they like changed their defense, and then uh, you just couldn't make any shots. I'm sorry. In a basketball video game, you just really shouldn't miss jumpers in the paint like that. Certainly not at the like 60% miss rate we have. He still shot, I was right there. Garbage game. Holding my breath there when he went up for a jumper. Yes. I got a steal. Oh, my God. 
What? What was that? Decide, decide to inbound it to no one. No. Get out of the lane, guys. Needed that other one. One minute to go. Jackson. Just make everything. Oh man. Like, imagine just getting three tries every time. Of course. Of course, this is how it ends. It's just so dumb. The CPU freaking fouls them. Just unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. I am I am done. Just unbelievable. What a garbage game. Number one seed, huh? All right, we're gonna beat the freaking Pacers. Oh, oh wait, never mind. All right, we're we're going. Um, Simpsons. We can do it, guys. We can do it. In the 1999, I don't remember the controls. Let's spin the Z's drive. All right. Oh, well, it still can't make shots. So glad to see that hasn't changed. Defensive five, first down, Ewing. 
Nick, number 33. All right, R is to change players. Oh, there's just no one there. That's cool. Dude, what? Two minutes to go. How? We're not off to a good start. Oh my god, that was bad. Alright, so if you're pushing a direction, no, it's just still a foul. All right. It's the only way I can score. The only way. Outstanding. Indiana four. New York. Can't make any other shots. New York. Oh, well, they missed the layup, so. I guess we're kind of even. Press B to jump. They don't jump. How am I supposed to rebound? Manually rebound. Alright. Can we? No way. Alright.
They just take forever to do anything. Good job, Latrell. No. I guess now I can like waste a bunch of time. Is there a shot clock? It looked like they had one, but I guess not. I turned it off. For four now? Like, why is that even an option? I like tackle the guy. Just let me swipe at the ball. I can't make those. Cool. No. And to shoot free throws. make a single jump shot this game. Probably not. Look at Pat. Game of the year edition. <laughs> In no world should this be the game of the year. He's like, but it's the only game. And so we'd be like, well, I could probably come up with one right now. I have this game on my calculator. Yo, Nar, what's up, dude? You missed out on some some good Smash action last night. It was quite the event. How you been? That was actually really fun last night. I would like to point out that for both of us, um, you version Luigi uh, was our best character. Dude, what? I just put it up on YouTube. Um, yeah, you, you Luigi was a, both of our best characters. I definitely, uh, if we do the draft and I get first pick, uh, I'm definitely picking Luigi first. Indiana, 18, New York, 22. 
Damn, I needed to score there. I wasn't paying attention. You guys distracted me. Oh, Indiana gets the ball. What the hell? I don't even know how that works in basketball. I thought about that. Who gets the ball after each quarter or half? Okay, because, like, I won the tip, and then they got it after the first quarter ended, and then they just got it again after the second quarter ended. So that's why I was confused. Dude, freaking Dodgers were depressing last night. I had that on another screen while I was streaming. Ugh. That was a rough inning. No, dude, that's oh, I'm oh for six now. Jump shots. I cannot make one. The only shots I make are um, the like auto dunks and layups. Who gets the tip then? Team B gets it. Second. Oh, okay. Dude, that was that was rough. No. Still have not made one. What a dumb game. There's gotta be something I'm doing wrong. Besides playing this game. Dude, how, how tense were you uh, in that the second game of that Padres series, though? That ninth inning? Yes! Made one. Yo, OG. Yeah, dude. I, I was, like, right up on my screen. That whole it, oh that was that was too much. OG, this uh this makes some of those Japanese games you're playing look like absolute masterpieces. Game of the year. <laughs> It's about time for uh, Reggie Miller to start hitting threes. Never been so excited to play at 64. Dude, seriously, this game broke me last week. I have not I have not played since. I mean, we're hoping in the Zone 2000 is better. Typically, the games get better. It isn't. <laughs> Damn it. It's just so funny because, like, there are, there have been basketball games that have been okay. Uh, NBA Live 99, I think, was actually kind of good. Super Ghouls and Ghosts is no joke. Mario Lost Levels, okay. Hardest games. Like, does the, like, hardest games on the hardest difficulty? Or hardest games on default.
Because then there's like, like I don't think Goldeneye is that hard of a game, but Aztec on double O Agent is like hard. That is a hard level by default. Uh, I mean, Contra 3, right? That's got to be up there. Contra 3 is next. Nice. See, and there are also... Now there are games that are hard just because, like, the controls are difficult. Like, that's how I feel about, like, the original Mega Man. The game is just hard because of the physics of the game and the controls. Yeah. Also, you should just ignore racing games. Because I'd say the majority of games that I've played on stream that I've had a hard time with have been racing games. Just because, like, there's no, like, messing around to figure things out like a platformer and stuff. Like, racing games, you just have to get good and win races. So it, it takes time. Lion King? See, I guess it's because I grew up playing Lion King that I don't think it's that hard of a game but when i watch people play it for the first time they the struggle is so real it's hilarious he passed it right through my legs f-zero the rid of the original right the original is pretty tough once you get uh into like later in the game but yeah i racing games yeah i, I would leave leave those out it's just going to be fresh. And, and fighting games. I would leave those out. And sports games. Street Fighter 2 campaign. Dude, I played an insane amount of Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting. Uh, single player and um, versus. Uh, fighting games, though, the thing is, like, every every CPU character has a pattern, and, like, once you get the hang of the pattern, like, you can just beat them. Dude, that... I didn't see it, so I'm glad. I hate watching injuries. Ever since my ACL, I hate watching injuries. But, I, yeah, I heard about it, and they were like, he's already having surgery. So I was like, oh, all right, compound fracture. Like, things are getting reset and everything. Like, that sucks. Oh, you're a Dallas fan. That sucks, dude. Yeah, my, uh, my wife's dad's uh, fiancé is a huge Cowboys fan. She's from Texas. Phone was out, yeah. Oh, oh man, you actually like saw that? Yeah, I avoid all of those. Wow, what a final score. Are you seeing this? <laughs> what a rejection. What a three. All right, we won a game. 42. Oh, Andy Dalton's the backup. Did not even realize that. So yeah, Dalton is, Dalton's okay. I mean, I think, actually, to be fair, no. All right, like as much as I want to blame the quarterback in New York, he's not the he's not the problem. Yo, just bring back John Kitna, eternal backup.
<laughs> Eric Kitten that like years and years ago when he, he came in for a Romo and he had like one or two good games. I remember that. In the nineteen ninety nine NBA I mean, you definitely have a shot in that division. That's the thing. Danny Testaverde. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. Like, again, why can't they make jump shots? There has to be some mechanic I'm missing. Like, maybe I'm supposed to release the B button at a different time. Like, the Raiders beat the Chiefs. I mean, the Chiefs don't have a great defense. So if they're not scoring points, like, it was kind of weird that, like, the Raiders' defense was that successful. I don't know what the hell is going on with the Chiefs, how they just refused to give the ball to, to uh, Edwards Hilaire. Like, is it just because he's on my fantasy team? They just won't, they don't want him to touch the ball? Mahomes looked, I mean, Mahomes had some sick plays too, though. Am I a Giants fan? No, I'm a Jets fan. My uh, my dad is from New York, so I, I kind of grew up supporting New York teams. Um, but he's like old school Dodgers fan, so that's why I'm a Dodgers fan. You know, Brooklyn, L.A. And then um, he wasn't he didn't really uh, watch much hockey, I guess, for a long time until he moved to D.C. So we're all Caps fans. I've kind of been on a Knicks hiatus, though, because they're just so embarrassingly bad. So I just support whatever team LeBron is on. Yeah, all for his standards is fair. Yeah, I mean, and who knows what's going on with Washington, right? That division is just in shambles. At least when our division is garbage, like we always had the Pats that were still good. So it wasn't the entire division that was terrible. Miami actually looked good. It was kind of weird. Why? Why? Why is he shooting a jump shot? I, so like, I want to feel good about Darnold. I do. Like, he's got a good arm. He's like decently accurate. He can run. He just hasn't had a coach and he hasn't had consistent people to throw to. Like, I feel bad for him. It's not like Sanchez, who was just bad, or like Gino, who was bad. Like, those were not good quarterbacks. I feel like Darnold actually can be good. I do kind of miss uh, Fitzmagic. But only, like, fit the Fitz-Mangold combo was what I liked the most. Block. 10 seconds. Get in there, Pat. Oh, I have to inbound it. No. Yes. Yeah, it really is coaching. Like, it's usually really easy to blame coaches when teams do bad. But if you watch that team play, 
It's just so many bad decisions. So many. Like, yeah, players screw up too. But the Jets would not be 0-5 if they had a decent coach, even if players still made the same mistakes. He's just a hilariously bad coach. Like, I mean, jeez. Last year, last year, our, our joke and our family with Gase was that he was saving all of his timeouts for this season because the dude just didn't call timeouts. Like, he legit lost games because of that or early in the season. Like, ah, he's just saving them for next year. He just, ha he just, it's like he just doesn't know anything. The eye stare, yeah. I mean, he's like psycho. Bill O'Brien, I, it's crazy that he lasted this long. I mean, I guess they had like a little success, but it was not because of him. Like, they had really good players on that team for a while. They were winning in spite of the coach. See, I'm just terrified, though, that the Jets are going to hire Bill O'Brien or Dan Quinn or one of these idiots. I like, I have to get inside. Dude, it's gonna, ha like, as soon as those coaches got fired, that's what we all thought. That's what every Jet fan thought. We're like, oh, th th this is what's gonna happen because it's the Jets. God, I really want the Astros to lose. Are they playing right now? Come on, Reggie. <laughs> Eric Bannamy. I'm just I'm gonna chill on my my coaching desires and thoughts for now. We'll, we'll see how the season shapes out. See who emerges as someone we're interested in. I do not want a defensive-minded coach. I want an offensive-minded coach and, a, and just a good D coordinator. I just want the offense to be good for once. Like, it's crazy that we had the one, the one like really good year with Fitz, but other than that, haven't had a good offense since Rex Ryan. And that was like 2009 when all he did was run the ball. That was the good offense. Having a, having a defensive coach is fine when you have a good quarterback and good receivers and a good O-line, like when you're, all your pieces on offense are good, you can get away with having a, a defensive coach. Like that's how Rex made it work. You know, they had a good line, they had, good, they had a good running game, they had some good receivers, did not have a good quarterback, but they made up for it, barely. And like in Atlanta, right? They had a defensive coach because their offense was ridiculous until it wasn't. Of course. Did that count? It did. Why? Why was it tipping? After the buzzer. Right. 
they were they were in the Super Bowl because the offense was really freaking good and the defense was okay. And then we saw that the defense actually wasn't that okay. And then they were broken. They were a broken team after that. Just a shell of their former selves. Dude, 49ers getting messed up. That's pretty rough. The team I feel the worst for is the goddamn New York Jets. Cause they just because they have the worst owner in football. That's why I feel bad for him. Two minutes to go. Because the players will just never get what they actually deserve. Because the owner is a complete moron. Woody is an idiot. Chris is an idiot. That whole family. And like, I say he's the worst owner in football, and Dan Snyder still exists. Yeah, like, Sanchez, like, 09-2010 Sanchez was fun to watch. After that, it was tragic. Because he just got exposed, because they actually were trying to have him do stuff. And then you're like, oh, he can't. That's, that's it. He can't. Now, one thing that'll always kill me is in that AFC Championship game against Pittsburgh, when they, they were at the goal line, and they didn't run the bootleg. Like, that will that'll always get me, man. They just ran LT like three times. Like, I get it, you have you have LT, like, you want to run them. But that bootleg was really successful for them in a bunch of games that season. I And, like, Sanchez can run. I just, I... That, that was the game. Like, if they had scored right there, that was the game. Would have been in the Super Bowl. Probably would have lost to uh, Green Bay, but who knows. Not like Green Bay had much of a defense to speak of then. And uh, the Jets' defense was ridiculous. So, who knows? Might have been able to win that. Peak, peak Revis and Cromarty defending Rodgers receivers in the Super Bowl? Yes, please. Yeah, very winnable shot. I believe, uh, yeah. I totally agree. Definitely would have had a shot. Pittsburgh didn't have a shot. Ben was like on like half of one good working leg. Like that dude was falling apart. Ah oh, crap. Out of time. Yeah. And it's just ah, uh, it just would have been so great to have like a peak, a peak Revis Super Bowl game. Like the the people, the fans deserve deserved that. Like Greg Jennings would have had like one catch for eight yards. Like, it would have been sick.
The corn fan is here. Yo, uh, missing. Did you did you try and mess around with any overlay stuff last night? Spin move. Oh, there are none. I so. There are none. Um, at least there, to be fair, maybe there are now. There were not two years ago when I made mine. Um, so what I did was I just found a theme that I liked, like the color scheme and everything of. Um, so I got this one. And, you know, those top and bottom bars normally are centered on the screen and maybe a little bit wider. So I just took them, shoved them to one side, uh, made them a little smaller, and I took the background image from one of the other scenes in this package, and I have three of them on the screen, right? There's one all the way on the left side. That's one piece. There's one little bar at the top, and there's one little bar on the side. That's just three of the same background image that I used to frame out the uh, game screen. So it was really just all like, I just took a theme that existed and converted it. But all of the like stream starting soon and, and be right back scenes that are part of the packages, they have like a background image like this. So then you just use it to frame out the, your game screen. Um, I do recommend importing like a, a four by three like mat image so you can use that as your guide when you're framing it. But yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, I mean if you're if you're making overlays, you, you need your your sixteen by nine and your four by three mats for sure. Of course, a lot of the games I play aren't perfect 4-3, so I have to, like, crop and stuff, but I'm trying to think of the last... One of the more recent games I played had a really weird aspect, so I just I had to suck it up, and there were, like, black spaces at the top and bottom, which I hate, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. Why am I taking these bad shots? Yeah, no problem. I was trying to help a little bit, like... No one knew enough to help me when I was doing all this. And it definitely would have made life easier, so I try to help. A weird aspect on Dune. What? They can steal the ball? All right. Crap. Oh, it's the end of the game. They're just fouling me now. Now they're intentionally fouling me. Leave me alone. I was shooting. Oh, come on. I hit the shoot button. Give me a shooting foul. Dude, this is, this is silly. Oh, I'm never going to get shots in. Okay, there's no bonus. I forgot. So they can just foul all they want if it's not during a shot. Forgot. Where's 
Reggie's gonna shoot threes now. I'm covering him. How much time is left? 30 seconds to go. Can I just run away for 30 seconds? He's trying. No! Oh my god. Oh my god, they're gonna win. They're gonna win. They're gonna steal it and shoot a three and win the game. It's going to happen. Oh, no. I just have to run out the clock. This is the worst. They stole the ball. What did I say? Oh my god. Alright. Alright, we made it. We made it out of that game. That was scary. I can't believe they missed that three. I was like, there's no way. Just like a real NBA. Not looking like it. It's got to be better. Oh, uh, which Doom? Doing all your report cards. Yeah, those were good times. Yeah, I actually had never played a uh, Doom game before either. Um, I played until like college. I played the first one, and then the second one I played was Doom 64. Which I think, if you go in order, is like the third one? Not sure. Yeah, having like a, a steady, consistent job was, was nice. I don't mind grading. Uh, grading stuff is probably one of the things that bothered me the least about teaching. I'm a, I'm a very fast and efficient grader. So that, I just went into like robot mode. But uh, dealing with the administration 
so annoying. Like I had a, uh, I was really I, like good at just memorizing the, uh, you know, like multiple choice answers or something. What am I doing? I remember I had a, I had a test that was uh, 50. This is when I was, not when I was teaching chemistry, when I was teaching driver's ed. The final exam for that course in Maryland is uh, a 50 question multiple choice test. I mean, there are two versions of it. I knew both of them by heart, like just the letters and all 10 of the unit tests. I just, I just knew, I just knew them all. I could just look at a paper and, and grade it. Grading, I, one thing I would not want to grade is like English stuff, like essays. Yeah, true. Being online does mess up workflow. Now, now I only have my online workflow. workflow. PDF that you can't open. It's the classic move. You submit a file, a format that the teacher can't open. And then like, I can't open this. And then they're like, oh, my bad. Like two days later, like here it is. Yeah, dude, it's 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 rough. Like, I've just been doing like my VG boot camp stuff, and then like I had the census for like a month. That was pretty good money. And now I have uh, Haunted Forest this month for like an extra little bump. But yeah. Having that steady teacher's paycheck is nice. You always hear like teachers complain about not getting paid very much, but I live in Maryland, so teachers get paid well. Retro streams are definitely not paying the bills. We've had we've had one donation in like the last four months. So we're, we're, you know, we're doing solid. Most likely move to China. Oh, come on. Dunk it. Latrell. Sans. What's up? It's going all right. Um, this game, I'm not hating it as much as I did before because I messed with uh, some of the settings. I actually don't think that made a huge difference, but helped a little bit. Getting rid of like the three second violation is definitely helpful. Do I use a DSLR? No. This is a Logitech C920. Uh, I will, it looks, yeah, it's, it's lighting. Like that's, that's what it all comes down to. You can make a C920 look good with the right lighting. Um, if I if I like blew it up, you know, like if we go if we go here, like it doesn't. Yeah, I, I feel like you can clearly tell it's a webcam, but um, lighting matters a lot. You know, turn off like auto focus and auto gain, turn the gain down, adjust your lighting. C920 will look pretty good. Thing is, I can't, I can't say, you know, make it'll look good for 50 bucks because it's not a $50 camera anymore. He just get blocked. Come on, pet. 
<laughs> yeah, I, so the reason I have like a lot of the stream equipment that I do is because I used to stream like big in-person events, like tournaments and stuff. I used to like travel and go to these you know, like, convention centers and set up a stream on a stage and like that kind of stuff. I have a lot of this equipment, like video and audio stuff that I'm just not using anymore. Like, you know, I have like several, come on, uh, several cameras. I have uh, three XLR headsets that I'm not using now because I don't. You know, I'm not at some event where I need a commentary table. Um, this mic is like pretty good. I like this mic a lot, um, but it was only it's a hundred bucks, cheaper than a stupid Yeti, and better. It do be rough, young left hope all as well with you. Yeah, like, you know, I, I, I have like a my like 12 channel mixer that obviously I don't need for this stream because I only have two audio sources. I don't have like up to five or six like I would at one of those events. So yeah, a lot of what I have is just kind of overkill. Um, so beating a game... You know, most games have an end, like have a, a very clear end where you beat a boss and there are credits or there's a final level or there's a final puzzle. Um, sports games, there's a championship, so just win it. Um, luckily, pretty much every sports game has a um, like a playoff mode, so you don't have to play through a whole season. You can just do the postseason and win the championship. But even this is still going, so it's only been two hours. Oh yeah, Smash, like, it seriously will take, you know, like five minutes or whatever. Just because getting to the credits is very easy. Damn, they just really don't want to let me in. Um... There are some games though that really don't have an end at all, like an arcade game. You know, like there's the like Midway's arcade classics, like there's no end to that. Um, but I can do something like get the high score on each of the games, because it's an arcade game, they have high scores. Um, and then there's a game that truly doesn't have an end, like Golden Nugget 64. It's a casino game. You literally just play casino games and bet money. There's no there's no end to it. So I just um I made sure I played every casino game and won at least one like one hand or one round or whatever. Um And then there are games like Harvest Moon where there's not a clear end but there are like landmark moments in the game that you can aim for you know like getting married or something like that I, I, don't, I don't know i'll have to look at speed runs um that's another thing if i'm like really stumped on what to consider like completing a game i can usually look up uh, look up a speed run and see like what the categories are and go from there wave race does not have credits you beat Every circuit on the hardest difficulty, no credits. Um, same with Extreme G, um, 1 and 2. A lot of sports games don't give you credits when you beat them. A lot of racing games don't give you credits when you beat them. So it's kind of a, kind of a bummer when that happens. Oh, what a freaking block. I, I don't know much about Harvest Moon, so I really can't, like, accurately answer any questions about it. I've never played it. I've never played it. I've never seen it. Like, 
if you asked me what the game was about, I, pr I probably would have said it was about farming. These freaking threes. You guys are killing me. I'm pretty right, okay. No, what's what's difficult about this challenge, it's it's not like figuring out you know where an ending is or anything like that. It's picking up a game that I've never played before and learning the game and then beating it like you know in a reasonable amount of time it's like oh well i've never played this before time to learn all the mechanics time to solve all the puzzles time to figure out where everything is and all these levels and i had to do it while you guys watch me and judge me it's tough I think racing and fighting games are the ones that I look the dumbest in. Cause like every racing game is a little different, every fighting game is a little different, so I have to like learn those mechanics. Dude, stop! They don't miss. And I do. This is some garbage. I really needed to score that because then I'd get the ball back. Uh, this could be a tying shot. Alright, miss some more shots. Gotta go. Why is it always a foul? See, some of these basketball games, you can turn off fouls. And it wakes, makes it, obviously, way more fun. Because you can just, like, deck them. I'm terrified of shooting a three because I just feel like there's a zero percent chance it goes in, and then I just wasted a shot that I go in. I could really use a three point play. Come on, that wasn't that off. No. No. She played some D there. Chicago, 
Maybe we could do that again. Nope. No threes is pretty clutch, though. Go in. Need those to drop. Oh, crap. Just not even close. They missed this. Be really nice. All right. One minute to go. I could be like super risky. Run out the clock. Try and get this last second shot. Why is it not showing the clock? And one. Ah, Intermat, thank you. Thank you for the host. We're, it's really intense at the end of the game. I'm trying not, to, well, this game. So close. How you doing though, Matt? What were you playing? The Jets are actually moving Le'Veon? Like, I know they're, you know, talking about it. No! Oh, an actual steal! Oh crap, they're gonna. They're totally gonna hit a three. Seven seconds left. Yeah, I, I. Whenever I see a host like that, I assume it's an actual. It's actually a raid. Crap. No. No, no. Oh, I hate this game. Mario 64, hell yeah, dude. Well, welcome in everybody that came with Matt. I'm sure this is uh, exactly the N64 action you came for right here. Yo guys, can we, can we get some some movement here? Get you guys out of the paint. Let me drive. Yeah. Oh, dude, I don't know what I was thinking making that shot with, with that much time on the clock. It was so dumb. I just saw that wide open basket and I had to go for it. It just ruined everything.
All right, yeah, if I can get up by four, that would be clutch. So, are you speedrunning Mario 64? Or are you just like casual playthrough? On me. Just casual. It's a it's a crazy speed run. I I could see myself maybe learning like sixteen star, you know, something small. But not definitely not the whole thing. Oh, yo, let's go. Random steal. Well, I'm glad to see we have another another retro guy in the crew. Especially another person playing an N64 game. Sweet, missed both of them. One minute to go. Oh no. No. Can I just get to steal it? I like so I really enjoy 64 games um, I think a lot of it came from playing multiplayer you know like four player games like that was you know that was the new thing that was cool that was middle school for me um, but I think my favorite console is still Super Nintendo and just like the graphics and the music and the, the gameplay style I just I, I like 2d stuff the most Beating every SNES game, yeah. There's actually someone doing that right now. Well, there's a couple people doing it, but so someone will have it done way before I get around to it. There's like 700 games. I'm not. I'm not interested. N64 felt doable. It's a small library. Yeah, more RPGs. <laughs> Dude, chill out. Dude, they, these guys are exploiting my rule changes. Pokemon Stadium? No, I haven't done either one yet. Um, if you do exclamation mark progress, you can see all the games I've played and the ones that are coming up. I'm actually not sure when Stadium is. Oh, yeah, it's just down. Okay. As you as your first console. Um, our dad had an Intellivision, so that was like the first first console I ever played. But when I was in first grade, we got a Super Nintendo. Um, so that was one I spent a lot of time with. The same thing, though, still a lot, a lot of two-player games. Street Fighter, Double Dragon, some shooters, Mystical Ninja, 
And then obviously single player games like Mario World, Mario All Stars. When you're in first grade, you got 64. Nice. We're we're one console generation apart. How you doing, Peacemaker? Gomez Great Adventure is amazing. So, so Matt, we we had Legend of the Mystical Ninja for Super Nintendo, and we like played the crap out of it. We really liked the game. And it helped that it was a difficult game, uh, especially for like kids. Um, so, when Mystical Ninja Starring Going On came out on N sixty four, we definitely got that. And then when when uh, the next one came out. Going on's great adventure. Obviously, we had to get that too. So we're, we're big fans of the franchise. We, uh, I have not played the, any of the Japanese uh, games though, which I need to because they look great. I honestly think that Mystical Ninja starring Going on is one of the best games on this console. Um, having played like half of the games and beaten half of the games on the N64, that's my feeling. Um, like, it really is like pretty much just as good of an adventure game as Ocarina of Time. Uh, it's, it's up there. It has the music. To compete with Ocarina, um, the story is not quite as like immersive as Ocarina. That's where like Ocarina really shines, in my opinion. Um, but it's it's funny. It's a it's a really good game. Donkey Kong 64 was a massive disappointment for me. That's one of my most disappointing games of all time. Because all I wanted was Donkey Kong Country 4, <laughs> but I got that. Like, Mystical Ninja starring Goemon was not a 2D Mystical Ninja game, which is what I wanted, but it was so good that, like, it was okay. Yeah, I mean, that's like, like, Metroid Prime. Like, all people wanted was Super Metroid 2. Like, it's a good, and it's a good game. Like, I can, you know, acknowledge that. It just wasn't what I wanted. There was, yeah, there's a Mega Man 64. I have never played it, but I have it. And yeah, Adventures. 10 years to beat DK60. I've never beaten it. I played it up until the point where you unlock like the Donkey Kong Arcade. And I just played the Donkey Kong Arcade until I got bored. Never beaten the game. One minute to go. It's funny because like I enjoyed playing Mario 64 and Banjo Kazooie. Um, like I played those collectathon games. But DK64 just did not hold my interest. I actually, I got Conker's Bad Fur Day in college. Um, I read some review about this like M-rated uh, N64 game, Conker's Bad Fur Day, and I was like, all right, time to, time to get, see if I can find it. And I think I found it at like a, you know, Funko Land or GameStop or something, and it was probably like 20 bucks. Um, that was, so I was like, ah, I'll suck it up and spend $20. Um, I didn't beat it, though. Played it probably like halfway through, and then for whatever reason, I stopped playing it. Yeah, I, I agree with the, uh, the games just feel better. They just, it, there's just a smoother experience. DK, like having to change characters all the time and, and all that. 
that kind of makes things difficult. I think if you didn't have to change characters to even just collect some of the bananas, it wouldn't be as bad. Like if you could collect all the bananas with anybody, it wouldn't feel as bad. Dude, I, I gotta pay attention to the clock, man. I'm letting them get free possessions. If only the clock was on the screen all the time. Dude. Killing me. No. The maps feel absurdly big, yeah. Oh my god. Come on, guys. It's funny, like, people have... There are, like, all these mods of Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie and Zelda. There are, like... Are there any mods of DK64? James Kongs with the D-pad. That's nice. This, qual this quality of life mods. So, were you around for the uh, the CPU showdown last night? That was good times. I'm excited for our, our next uh, our next CPU battle. I think it's gonna be a good one. Well, we are gonna add because if you add remix characters to the draft, there's 24 characters, so it's 12 on 12. It's actually perfect. So you have to hurry up and do it before a new character is added. How? Like, stop hitting these threes! My God. No, the variants don't count. Like, you can choose a variant, but that can be the only version of that character chosen. So if I draft you, Luigi, then J. Luigi is off the table. Yeah, I agree. I think it's going to be super fun. Luigi and Falcon are definitely going to go one and two. Although, I don't know. I don't know about the Remix CPUs. I don't know which ones are really good. I'm going to have to like do some testing. Like, I wonder how good Bowser is. Jaime is watching. He's going to steal Falcon. I mean, I think we both, after last night, recognized how good uh, Falcon and Luigi are. And randomly, Jay Yoshi had a good night. Like when Jaime did this, Jay Yoshi got four stock. So, something's going on. Damn it. I thought the... I didn't realize I had gotten the rebound on the block layup.
Yeah, I'm wondering about Bowser. And yeah, Ganon. Dude, Ganon might be good, but so like Falcon does a lot of F smash, aerial, down B, and uh, an up B. What the crap was that? So like the up B's are for sure going to be good with Ganon. Those F smashes though, not as good. The aerial kicks might be decent. They don't use it to recover. They use it as like a regular attack. Dude. I need those rebounds. This is bad. We're hurting. We are hurting. Why is he not doing a layup? I feel like I'm definitely not going to draft Falco. I think Dr. Mario will be good. Dude, I almost out of bounds. Stop. They're killing me with threes. There's like nothing I can do. Yeah, I don't really have much faith in Falco as a CPU. Maybe, I don't know. Because Fox lasers a lot. So I just, I just don't know. No, I thought I got past them. All right. All right, this I'm I'm just going to lose this game. Damn it. They just won't make their freaking shots. So I hate basketball games. There's just so much garbage. I'm just at the mercy of this stupid RNG. Like it missed two layups in a row. Meanwhile, they're shooting 50% from three. Like this should have been a huge swing. I should be tied right now. Missing layups. Probably don't want Dark Samus either. I don't know about that CPU. Maybe though, actually. Samus does a lot of up smash. Yeah. Samus does a lot of F smash, down air. So maybe up smash. Maybe. One of the better CPU characters. Oh, I thought I just got that steal. What a freaking block. 
right, we're making a game out of it. Oh, just in general? I, I think Justin is very mistaken. About Dark Sam as being one of the better characters. Uh, her 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 short hop is just too high. Uh, her jumps are her short hop is too high. That's a, a big issue. Um, no. Oh, guys, we can get followers, primes, and views. No. It. Like Dark Samus has some really great moves, but her movement um, is problematic. It's mostly that short hop. It's so high. The short hop being high and her being floaty, like that combo means that it's just really easy for a character to kind of like plan things out and take advantage of her when she's in the air. Dude, why do they have to do that? But she has good moves. I'm still confused as to like how all these people think Young Link is so bad. I don't understand that. No. It's not about getting a jump red. It can be reacted to because it's so high. Especially by a faster character. Stop! Holy crap, this dude from three. Just don't jump, yeah. Nothing but uh, teleport up smashes. Go in, no. I think I just lost the game right there. One minute to go. Especially because they just keep hitting it. Yes. No. It's not fair. They could just keep fouling me. It's like actual basketball. They're going to hit a three here on this possession. It's 
to go up by two. And then they're gonna somehow stop me. How much time is left? 30 seconds. I should have let him shoot that because it wasn't a three. Oh my God! Come on! What a stupid, stupid, stupid game. He just decided not to do a layup or dunk. Just so dumb. What a freaking trash game. In the 1999 NBA Out of here. Such a bad game. Can only be combated by not playing. NBA, no, I mean, you mean jam or ham hang time? This is worse than both of them. This is the worst game I've played. Like, like, uh, there are a couple games that were, are just worse games. Like the controls and the graphics and everything. Like Madden NFL or whatever, Madden 64. Um, but this game, user experience, worst game. See, why didn't you just do that? If you'd just done that, I'd be playing game three right now, up 2-0. One game closer to ending all of this. Oh, come on. He threw it right through my face. Oh, fuck. Stop. It's not fair. It's just not fair. I wish the camera could zoom out and I could just glue onto this guy. Where are you? Come here. No free shots for you, Barry. Uh, my dad is uh, superstitious enough that um, he is not going to watch the Dodgers game live tonight. He is going to record it and watch it after my mom goes to sleep. He said, got to shake things up. Too much bad luck already. If that, that inning and then Kershaw being out tonight. Thank you. 
Ugh. One minute to go. I'm covering you, you punk. Oh no, he's over Freaking Brent Barry. Why? Like, I just don't understand why they miss so many of those shots. And I and I never will. Damn, I tried challenging. Dude, just why did it switch? Play some D, guys. I'm playing D now. Oh, he's not in. Who do I guard now? Can we coach? Right, that answers my question. Apparently they can all hit threes. Anton, what's up, dude? Good seeing you. Get yes. Dude, just can't get in. Impenetrable. Finally, yeah. Oh, I mean, to be fair, I, I definitely didn't stream much last week. Had a bunch of stuff come up. I just couldn't get around to it. Last night was fun though. Uh, I actually put that's up on YouTube though. The smash. No way. No way. Yeah, Ukraine, it's tough. Um, so I guess these earlier streams are a lot better for you. Like if I stream at like 1 p.m. here, that's probably, what is that, like 7 or 8 p.m. for you? So that's more reasonable than when I stream at 8 p.m. And it's like four in the morning. Glad to have you though. I wonder if I can pass in the middle of the shot. I need to try that. Oh, okay. It's yeah. All right. One minute to go. Nice. 
9.45 in Ukraine. So it's not too late yet. Okay. 46 seconds. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long I'm going to stream. I didn't really plan on streaming very long. I just wanted to like get something in, play this game a little bit. No school tomorrow, nice. Me neither. Keep it up. All right, you have Kuko? No. Can't be making those. Is uh, are things still crazy with uh, COVID at your school? Dude, why? Oh yeah, physics is, I, I like physics, it's fun. Very interesting class. I had a, I had a really bad teacher in high school, so I didn't get to learn much, but in college, uh, I got to learn a lot more. It's normal, that's good. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. Oh, what a freaking block. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, in the U.S., it's crazy. Like, some states have open school, schools. Some states are doing it all online. There's just, there's no organization. Deep 
You like this game? No. Stop that. This game is awful. No one's allowed to say anything nice about this game. Because of crap like that, like why? Wide open layup. No one anywhere near him and he misses it. Doesn't happen to the other team. They make every wide open shot. Wait, Mario Golf 64 is awful? Mario Golf is amazing. You're on crack, JP. That's one of the worst N64 takes I've ever heard. That's a, just an insanely bad thing. I can't get over it. The game is great. What's bad about it? What's literally one thing that's bad about that game? Puff button? I don't know what button that is. Oh, I mean, yeah, the AI is good. You just you just have to be good at the game. It's not like it's a rubber band either. They're just consistently good. It's not like this stupid game. Yeah, which button? That sucks though. Um, I, I would say you might be able to like take it apart and fix it, but if you don't really know what you're doing, then that would be difficult. Mario Golf is tough. Like, unlocking the, the characters is, is not easy. Yeah, get yeah, some alcohol and clean up the controller. But like you still, again, you're probably gonna, to fix it, you'd have to take the controller apart. And if you've never done that before, it can be very intimidating because there are a lot of pieces. Um, but it's not difficult. I mean, I've, I've taken apart uh, like hundreds of controllers because I sold them for a long time. So I would take them apart, clean them, you know, replace joystick parts, like all that stuff. I'm very familiar with the uh, the ins and outs of the N64 controller. Actually, I just got a bunch more. I'm probably going to be selling more um, sometime soon. Oh, it's foul. It's foul time. I was going up, so that's shooting, right? Who won the 12 character battle? I actually won 2-0. Oh. 
we did one where I was you and he was Jay, and one where I was Jay and he was you. Uh, I won both of them by two stocks. They were pretty fun to watch. I gotta go port two this time? Yeah, maybe. I, I just got lucky with um a couple things. I mean, a two like two stocks both times. It was incredibly close both times. Good counter picks. It's all about those counter picks. I feel like I had a character or two that had some pretty bad SDs. Yeah, JP, the whole uh, the whole character battle is on YouTube. They just missed both shots. Let's freaking go. This is NBA in the zone 99. My bad. I thought I didn't realize this was hidden. I was going up. I was in, literally in the air. Do I get to shoot free throws? Yes. Okay. Oh, does it still say... I forgot to change the retro. Damn it. My bad. I think someone else can do that. I think if you do... Game retro. No, Extreme Elements is different. Oh, damn it. Game edit. Game change. So uh, I know that I know all the nightbot commands, but stream elements is different, and it drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, the, if you can swap out the circuit board, that's almost guaranteed the problem. But again, you might just be able to clean it with some alcohol. How do I feel about Mario Party 1? It's just it's just not nearly as good as 2 and 3. Like, I, I'm sure people had a lot of fun with it when it first came out, but 2 and 3 are just, they're just so much better. Oh man, that game's going, that series went the distance. And four. So the thing with three, three has some parts of it 
that I like more than two. But I feel like it has slightly more random elements to it. And that that is what makes me prefer two. Um, three, though, lets you hold more than one item, which I really like. So in the end, I usually just end up with two. I think I like the boards better in two also. I'm not sure though. No, three, three's good. Three's still good. Definitely better than one. One has way too many things that are just totally random and, and game breaking. Like the coin mini games where you can get like 50 coins. Like, no. Mario Party 1 was it was a great start, but basically nobody should play it. Two and three are vastly superior, and then I, I really haven't played enough of the GameCube ones to make like a fair judgment. What's the one that all the melee players usually play? Is it four or six? They get really gimmicky after that. Okay. Just cover Barry. Oh, that's weird. Um, also, most of my experience playing Mario Party was in college uh, playing teams. We would make teams of two and, and play that way. So it made some of the boards more interesting because you could like plot against the other team. Yeah, Mario Party doubles. It's legit, man. It makes the game way more fun. And then you also you don't have to worry about like playing politics and like trying to convince everyone to gang up on someone and like all that because like there are teams and you're always going to be trying to go for the other team and yeah there are like fun little things you can do as a team like you can like there's one board where you can um like pay 10 coins or something like that to afflict the other to afflict someone with like a poison mushroom where they only move like one to three spaces so like let's say your team is going for happening you could like do that to your teammates so they'll land on the question marks or like you could duel your teammate so that your team gets coin star at the end Yeah, Mario Party 2 and 3 are a lot more fun than the first one. But if you want mini games, and really you should just play Pokemon Stadium 2. Stadium 1 mini games are pretty fun, but they're they're all kind of the same. Almost all of them are just press A at the right time. 30 seconds to go. There are still some good ones though, even with that in mind. Yeah, they're great mini games. I I really want someone to make a ROM hack that that just combines Stadium One and Two, like all the mini games into one game. That'd be fun. Like a mini game island, but for Stadium. The EV one, EV one's good. Um, one that I always win is the um the furret one i'm really good at that one um i, I kind of like the don fan one but that one's kind of jank the the scyther one is is good the fairy one is just lame um wait the eevee one from one there's an eevee one in the first one i know there's an eevee one in the second stadium where you have to like dash under the Thing when it lifts up. The 
treadmill. That's Eevee? It's Rattata. Yeah. Run, Rattata, run. Um, yeah, that one's, that one's solid. Um, I think I like the Togepi one in Stadium 2 more. It's like similar concept, but better execution. Same with like Stadium 2 does the, um, the Pichu one better than the Pikachu one. It's just like a more interesting version of the same game. The Magic, I kind of like the Magikarp one, um, but it is silly. I'm really good at the Drowsy one. I, I legit have not lost that one, like ever. Uh, I think I lost it one time in Peru because I was I started playing without looking at the screen. Uh, but other than that, I seriously have never lost that game. Um, I tied one time, but uh, no, I haven't lost. Because apparently you can tie in that game. Eventually the game is just like, fine, you guys are both good. I've only seen that happen once though. Um, I think most people, the one that they they go to for Stadium 1 is um, the Metapod one, Harden. As like being a good game. I like that one. That one is a good game. I like it. Um, Lickitung? I like Lickitung. Um, but again, Stadium 2 just did the Deli Bird one, and it's just a more interesting version of the same game. Um, Ekans Hoop Pearl, I like that one, but you can, there's a lot of luck involved with that one, so it bothers me sometimes. Two's really good. Highly recommend checking it out, playing the games more. They're all like really good games with maybe the exception of um, the Golbat one. Golbat one's pretty jank. Not made by Game Freak, why? Who did you just leave open? All right, what a possession. So much clock burned. Stadium one and two were outsourced. Did not realize that. Never paid attention. They're so good though. I guess that's, I guess that's why. <laughs> yeah, dude. I remember that punish too. Fox broke DK's shield with lasers. And then just up B's straight up in the air as a punish and doesn't hit him. I think there, I think last night there might have been three shield breaks and none of them got punished. The CPU just doesn't know what to do. Oh, dude. Snap is got to be one of the most overrated games. I, I don't understand why people like it so much. It's such a short, uninteresting game. It's the Yoshi. It's the uh, it's the Yoshi story of Pokemon games. Yeah, it, it's it's for kids. Uh, I actually have never played Hey You Pikachu, so I don't remember it. I have the game and I have the microphone, but I've never played it. It's just something like I acquired in like a Craigslist bundle. Yoshi Yoshi Story um, Soap is like my number two most disappointing game of all time. I think that's my number two. I think Donkey Kong 64 is my number three. Star Fox 2 is my number one. How? Because how, there's no way that anybody played Yoshi's Island on Super Nintendo and then got Yoshi's Story and played it and was happy with it. 
The game takes like 20 minutes to finish. It's incredibly easy. There's like no real like nuance to the game. Like it's just uninteresting. It might as well be like a click through like choose your own adventure story game. You barely have to play it. J version? What's the difference? Dude, they've been they started hitting threes again. Killing me. Is the J version an actual game? <laughs> Cover him. Yeah, Falco CPU, yeah, it tries to play like Fox, but no lasers. Does Fox CPU ever do lasers in the air? Or does he always do standing? He does? Okay. I feel like he did a lot of standing ones uh, last night. Ah, oh, wrong guy. He does do lasers in the air. Okay. It was so so. Uh, the reason I asked about the original music and stage combo in Dev is because I was like, you know, David Wise is like a pretty cool dude, and he did follow me on Twitter. Maybe I can talk to him about Remix and get him to make like some original song for Remix. How cool would that be? It'd be so freaking cool. Yeah, that David Wise clout. Yeah, I forget. I like commented on something that he was talking about and he followed me. And then I was like, oh my god, David Wise followed me. And he was like, yeah, I did. I guess if I did hit him up and he wanted to make a song, we could just put it on phrase stage. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Like, again, I don't understand why people keep saying Young Link is bad. Like, why? Why is he bad? Seems pretty good. They're like, oh, his, uh, you know, his attacks don't have as much range as Link does. It's like, okay, but he, like, he has projectiles to help him get in. 
Like, so he should like he can still get in. His up smash is like ridiculously good. It's basically Falcon's up smash, but it kills. I want to say his up tilt's probably pretty good. I don't know, man. His back air combos into itself. You use Toon Link's up smash? I mean, yeah, probably. That's what it looks like. It's good, though. Like, it's it's fast, and it's it's strong. Yeah, I just see it a lot in, like, the Discord and stuff. People talking about Young Link being bad. I, like, I don't understand. Like, is this a meme? Like... No, 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 sorry. Not the remix Discord. Um, the, the Smash Discord. I largely ignore the remix Discord. Lucas is bad. I can kind of get on board with that just because of... Just because he plays the same way as Ness. And it's... So it's like, double jump or like, really unsafe and risky and his recovery sucks. Like, he just can't get away from that. It doesn't mean people can't be good with that character. Just the character in general isn't good. Crap. And then people keep putting Wario near like the top of their remix tier list. That also doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Like he's not that good. Like his neutral B literally just shield it. And uh, his recovery isn't that good because it's super telegraphed. And he has no approach. None. Except dash attack, which doesn't combo, so it's like, all right. Like, Warrior is a fun character and all. As far as, like, competitively viable, like, he's a mid tier. Dude, come on. We're really doing this? What? What in the world? Dude, the, again, the rubber band in this game. Why can't I make a shot? I hate this game so much. So much. Yeah, dude, it's like, it's killing me. I had to go for a shot there because if I had waited too long and they stole the ball from me, like, oh my god, oh my god, no. See, now if I make this, they're going to hit a three, they're going to tie the game. No, or I'll miss both of them, and they'll hit a three here to win. 
I mean, he got fouled. So it's why he didn't make the layup or whatever. Oh my god. I can't believe this is going to happen again. Oh my god. Just miss one, please. You owe me. No. You owe me, game. Miss. No. I hate this game. Give me that freaking ball. Oh. Hey that. Dead. Oh yeah. I don't even know. Like playing Smash on Android? No clue, dude. There's no threes. No threes. Cover him. Two minutes to go. No way. Come on. You guys see that crap? Got their three pointer, three point shooter in. No, Kucha, go, go! Every game can be beaten. DD games? Oh, this the disc. All right. So they have two. They see now they have two three-point shooters on the floor, Kuko and this guy. No. All right, scared me. He didn't go for a layup. He went for a jump shot. We all know how that usually ends. One minute to go. All right, he's not picked up. No. Nope. Cover him. Seconds to go. 
Gonna hit a three and win. I, like, I knew it. All right. Oh, my God. This guy's gonna make this from half court. Yes. Why is this game so hard? I mean, but then it would have been more expensive, Anton. And so maybe not as many people buy. I don't know. Oh my god, we made it. We're only at the conference finals. Oh my god, I forgot. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it also got, didn't it get super delayed? 64-2. Yeah, I mean, when did PlayStation come out? Alonzo Morning? Yeah. I always just remember him on the Hornets in the NBA Jam. Ninety four. I did not realize PlayStation came out in ninety four. I get I mean very end of ninety four. But yeah, yeah, I knew X was September ninety six. Yeah, that's a big difference. I mean, 64 still did really well, though. Like, despite that. Oh, come on. They could have snuffed Sony. Can you imagine that if, if Nintendo won that battle so hard that Sony just stopped making consoles? There was no, there was no PlayStation Two, the best-selling console of all time. Three-pointer. That's gonna miss one. Yeah, Xbox. I feel like Xbox had a decent start. And then the 360 did well, right? 
360 did better than the than the they won that generation, right? It did better than the Wii U and PlayStation 3. They still lost money. Yeah. Or I guess 360 and the Wii. The Wii were the same gen. We did well. At, uh, at least at the beginning. We was number one for a long time. Yeah. In that gen. No, no, nothing beat uh, PS2. At least I don't think. Maybe the Switch can get there. PS2 is your favorite DVD player. That honestly was a big part of like why it sold so well. Thirty seconds to go. Like it's silly to think about now, but it definitely was. Oh, get you. Oh my god. Yeah, it was cheaper than a regular DVD player. <laughs> Dude, imagine <laughs> that happens. We're in the second quarter and the score is eight to five. Those missed jumpers at the end hurt my soul. Yeah, Blu-ray just really didn't take off. I feel like not enough people just had like systems where the difference made that much of a difference to them. It's I feel like it's kind of like how 4K isn't taking off like as much as people might expect. It's like dude, everyone would have to upgrade all their stuff. People are still using CRTs, yeah. Three. Holding on to those those big uh, those big rear projection uh, TVs, also. Two minutes to go. Oh, you hundred percent Mario sixty four, nice dude. Hundred percent Rainbow Cruise, yeah. I love watching speedruns of Rainbow Cruise where they like get all the way to the top. It's so cool. I think Mario sixty four speedruns and uh, Super Metroid like RBO speedruns are just so cool to watch. Why am I having such a hard time dunking? Yeah, they make those. Sure. Marley, New York, 14, Miami, 11. Right, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a pretty frustrating one for everyone. The rainbow level. Oh, 
Oh, get wrecked. One minute to go. Two offensive rebounds. Cool. I can't really picture myself buying a new game on the Switch unless uh, they come out with a new 2D Metroid for Switch. Yeah, the clock one. Clock one's rough. Do you see like a general theme with those three levels though? You spend the whole time climbing up, so if you mess up, you go like all the way back down. So it's unforgiving. Oh no, I just missed that. Oh! Small, yeah, small, huge island. That one gets people too, just because you have to keep, you have to like correctly flip between them. So if we need a, a small, huge island stage. Miami. I guess we already have one. It's called Cornaria. Random size. Yeah, it's always that always sucks. Stop. The Hardaway's hitting three. Miami, twenty-six. Miami. Substitution. Miami. Two minutes to go. All right, we take those. Two shots. Dude, they're too good at shooting free throws. What the hell? Hundred percent ocarina. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Just getting all the stupid skulls is such a chore. Hey, soap. I when I played it on stream. That was my first time ever playing Ocarina. Well, first time ever playing it past like the first temple. Oh, 
That's why it took me 27 hours. Oh my god! Just missing open lights. You hate your sister? I hate this game. Getting to adult length, yeah. The farthest I had gotten was getting to the mountain with the Gorons and everything. And then uh, I had stopped playing. This is one day, you know, like five years ago or something. I was like, I need to play Ocarina of Time. And I sat down and I played it up to there and then I never, never sat down and played it again. It's a very calming, like most of the zones have uh, like that atmosphere and music and everything. It's a lot more calming until you get to like Garuda Valley. Twelve FPS. The frame rate really didn't bother me. The water temple now and then. So I understand why people uh, like talk about how difficult the water temple is and how much they hate it and everything. But it wasn't that bad. It didn't like live up to these lofty standards of being incredibly difficult. I did get stuck at like one spot, um, but you know I just. You figured it out eventually. Yeah, it was a lot of backtracking. Miami. I don't know, people always said it was like really difficult. Yeah, the boots make it annoying. Cause there's no like quick swap. And then yeah, the backtracking. You have to do. Oh, that was totally the wrong button. But it, I mean, it's a it's a big puzzle, like all the dungeons. But that puzzle is a little bit more obnoxious. I think I think the water boss might have given me the hardest time out of all the bosses. Dude, the uh, what's the temple where you have to like use the goggles or whatever the lens the whole time that was the shadow temple that was pretty cool morphia is easy i mean they're all the bosses are easy once you know how to beat them shadow temple boss was pretty cool i like that boss Bottle tennis? I did. I had people in chat were like, you have to do this with the bottle. I'm like, okay, fine. I think I did it. I definitely did it for whatever that first boss is where you can do it. And then I think I did it for part of the Ganon fight. I don't remember. 
See, that's the thing. So, not only had I never played it before, but I had never watched a run of it. So, I, I all of it was completely new for me. I, like, intentionally have avoided speedruns of it and everything. Same with Majora's Mask. I've never, never played it, never watched it. Because I know I'm going to play it. So, I want it to be, like, new. Miami! So that's why, like, the bosses and stuff, like, I, I didn't know the strats, so I just had to kind of, like, play and figure it out. So some of them definitely took a bunch of attempts. Yeah, also, I don't want to watch a speedrun of a game that I haven't played before. It makes it so much less interesting to me. Oh my god, the steals are coming. Oh, 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 but it's my turn. What's up? What's up? Latrell. He's driving. He's in. I have beaten 134. I am on 135 right now. number 35. And out of the 135, this is my least favorite so far. So you, uh, you, you hopped in just the right time. A minute left, eight points. Which has been the best? Uh, it's hard to say. So, like... What's been the best game that I had never played before? Probably Ocarina. What's my favorite game? Probably Goldeneye. Uh, what's a game that I recommend to people that is a little less known? Uh, Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon. Um, there are some really good ones though that I had never played before, like like Body Harvest and Turok 2. Um, Blast Core. Mischief, oh yeah, Mischief Makers is... Uh, I always forget that that's not as well known just because I grew up playing it. Mischief Makers is great if you want a, a 2D game. Blast Core is super fun, but I hated the dump truck levels. I hated controlling that piece of crap. 30 seconds to go! Like, I don't understand, like, the game is great, and I really like the game and the concept and everything, it was fun, but yeah, that dump truck, whew. And then of course, that's the vehicle you use on like the final level, you know, like on the moon. Oh yeah, I forgot, yeah, you can check out that doc to see like all the games I've played and the games I'm going to play, the order, and also things like what games I recommend. And, some other stats and stuff like that. Tui. I honestly don't think I've played Tui since it came out. I, I don't think I have. Alright, some free throws. Yeah. Portal 2 is a great game. Never played it. Yeah, that's that's kind of the impression I got from it is like it's Banjo Kazooie just with more stuff like that you have to get, which is not what people want. They want they want a re like a sequel that's just more stuff that they can do. Which you get that also. I think you have more abilities in Tui. Yeah, it was super ambitious, especially with like the stop and go or stop and save, whatever that whole concept was. Stop and swap, save and swap. Stop and swap.
Nintendo band spawn. It was just too much, man. If it was Sega, they, they would have done it even though they weren't ready for it and it would have confused people because it would have been too new and advanced and it would have bankrupted them. R.I.P. Dreamcast. Does Tui not use the notes to guide you around? Because that was like low key, really helpful. Oh, okay. So they're not like along your path like they are in Banjo Kazooie and Mario 64. It's not as much. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Give me that. What is that banging? Has that always been a thing? All right. It's like, when is it gonna stop? <laughs> the program is smashing his head against the wall. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, Sunshine and Odyssey are like pretty good sequels. Yeah, they really took like kind of the same style of game and just added stuff to it. Um, also, if you play Emulator, you can check out like um, Final Impact, or is it is it Final Impact or Last Impact, the ROM hack? Wow. Sunshine is Mario 64 too. Yeah. Two shots. But yeah, I, I don't know if it's um, Last Impact or Final Impact, but it's a it's a ROM hack of Mario 64. It's like a totally new game with like new abilities and, and all kinds of stuff. It looks awesome, um, but it is emulator only. You can't play it on console. And they, they brought it back. Time out, Miami. Substitution, Miami. One minute to go. Defensive. Oh, dude. It's all ball. What's that? No. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know about that. Yeah, 
Makes sense though. Like, how could they not have been like working on a sequel? Come on. Now and then, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. All right, I'll catch you later. Next stream, uh, we'll definitely finish this game and start on bottom of the ninth, which is the last game before Smash. Yeah, Smash is like two minutes. I'll definitely just play it all stream though. I'll get someone to like 12 character battle me or something. We'll, we'll, we'll have fun with it. No hard way. Play you? All right, I'll play. You can play. I didn't know you were so eager to get bodied on stream. Bye, Bert. All right, Bert left. You guys, you guys lost your opportunity. Pet Bert. Let's go. Net play NBA in the zone 99. Oh, God. Sorry, right, next time. So if you should just sub and you'll get points a lot faster. Hey, dude, I hear you. I hear you. For sure. Man. All right, he made one. See, that's the thing, though. Like, you think, like, remix updates are all about the new characters and stages, but this one added the 12 character battle system. Other ones have like added a whole like integrated tra like crazy training mode. Um, other ones have added regional variants. Like I don't know, there's there's more than just the characters and stages in music. I don't know what was the new feature in the Lucas patch. I don't remember. Oh yeah, it, maybe more bonus stages. That was a thing. Um, sh I think shield break mode in training mode got added. That's the thing. Like some of the things that get added uh, definitely are not for everyone. Oh, look at that pick. When is the next stream? Uh, hopefully Thursday. I can't stream Fridays now because uh, I work on Fridays for this month. So it's like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. And who knows, maybe we'll do like a Wednesday night stream if Libby goes to bed early or something. Yeah, I mean, space will definitely be an issue for Remix at some point.
Thirty seconds to go. Yeah, adding like bonus stages is always cool, and sometimes there's just like a new feature that is crazy, like uh, Dreamland stage variants, or like you know when they first added moving platforms, or like the the one dash one, or like Big Blue. Like some of those are just crazy. All right, so I'll catch you later, man. Good luck on your uh, your top secret remix work. Hacker man. Yeah, I mean, 64 is as high as it's gonna go. So, we'll see. Oh, uh, Lucas Patch had regional variants. And they just added the rest in the Bowser patch. Oh. Yeah, regional variants was actually pretty cool. But it was only a few of them. It was like J Link, J Samus, J Kirby. Actually, J Kirby might not have made the cut. And new bonus stages, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean that's really cool. Cause those are all like that's all custom. Oh, come on, that was right in your face. How did I not get blocked? Both of those. Wait, Jared, is the game at six or eight? I forget. Oh, we like talked about it a bunch last Miami. night. Six? Oh damn. Alright. So dad's like really waiting to watch it. Wait, wow isn't even up yet? Two minutes to go. Only the finest of cheesecake. Oh, they said six o'clock. Wow. Yeah, whatever. Pre patch is gonna be out for a while. I feel no no need to rush and try and do everything. Guys, get out of the paint. Open the lane for me. Dude, my Falcon is terrible now. I haven't I haven't played Falcon in like oh, like the better part of the year. There is he's not gonna be good. I've just been playing like DK and remix characters. Yeah, it's like that, that's true. Everyone will be on. One minute to go. Three pointer. Yeah, if it wasn't freaking playoff game, that's probably what I would just be doing tonight. But I have the, free, the Minecraft Steve is coming out tonight, so I have to upload some stuff. 
and then yeah, the game. Dude, they just don't want to let me in. Thirty seconds to go. Why? Like the tenth, a dunk or a layup. Is this game two or three? game three I wanted to end the stream with only the championship left sit here. responding to the bower. <laughs> Dr. Mario down tilt. Oh yeah, that, that move is actually kind of crazy. If you watch Jaime, like some of Jaime's videos, he does work with Dr. Mario. And that down tilt. I feel like pull up is usually when like is usually like confrontational, but maybe not. I just need to stop the threes. Oh, oh they're okay. They're going for it. Where's my foul? Alright, I was going up. Huh? 
Yeah, the spike for Young Link is a little weird to get used to, but it's not so bad. Oh my god, what am I doing? Like, wasn't even looking. That should have gone on. this all right all right I'll try and make these oh. All right, I guess you three. Yeah. All right. Uh, GGs. Stop high fiving. Shoot the ball. Yeah, down tilt and up tilt for young link are good. For sure. All right. All right, one more game and then I'm done. Uh, Young Link dash attack is kind of fun. In the 1999 NBA Oh, this court is so bright. down till the fair yeah Let's go. 
what? Change players. Who's it? Some woman just yelled in the crowd. Saw the pass coming. We can jump in front of it. Then man. Canceling up air, you have a hard time with that. Weird. Bad pass. One minute to go. Get everybody out of there. I mean, I'm winning now. It's the first quarter. Get a couple steals, two three pointers, and it's tied. Or I just miss like that. They've had three turnovers. This is looking like me. Would have been nice to make that shot. We have like 10. Yeah, I mean, everyone can do a lot of damage in 64. Alright, biggest lead ever, 11. Two minutes to go. 
Oh, let's go. Miami. Two shots. Dude, come on, that's pretty close. Let's go. Dude, this is looking like the finals. Oh, come on. Wide open dunks and layups. Steals too. One minute to go. This guy's out of bounds. What a freaking block. I feel like they get their blocks back a lot. Oh, you mess up your teeth. That sucks. I'm pretty lucky. I've only really gotten like hit in the mouth like a couple times ever. Usually careful about hitting my face on things. Oh no, he was so open. Damn, Pat. Pat just got posterized. You got it yourself? Damn. I had to have one tooth pulled um, years ago, and it was miserable. It sucked so much. Thing did not want to come out. No way. Come on. Oh, I stole it. But it went right back to him. Like it pretty much always does.
That's good. Miami, 17, New York, 31. Can't cover both of them, guys. Come on. Yeah, it's just not fun. I don't want it. I don't know. Miami's in shambles. No. to break my my record for highest score I think it's 49 Let's go. Close out this series. Plants versus zombies? I think I tried, I played that a tiny bit, like a really long time ago. Or maybe it was just the version they put in WoW. That was a long time ago.
Let's see. When I was in like middle school, high school, I think I did a lot of like the uh, like tower defense, like custom games that were in uh, StarCraft. Those were kind of fun. Oh, oh, we have alley oops in this game. Yeah, we're definitely beating our high score. Miami. Gonna finally crack fifty. We could, we could go for 69. It's going to be tough. I don't know if we can get 10 more baskets. Just got to like let them shoot. Not if we miss. All right, GGs. No, no 69. Oh, you do jujitsu. That's pretty cool. I like that there's no ref, so the players give each other the ball. Oh, crap. Yo, MP, Meridian Prime, what's up, dude? Thanks for the host. You're, uh... Thanks for the raid. You are, you're just in time for the, uh... The end of my stream. <laughs> uh, I'm finishing up this series. And then we'll have the championship game next stream. Dude, this game is so bad. I think uh, you played this one on um, on rookie difficulty. Dude, on normal, the rubber band is like freaking insane. Yo, Eileen, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. That happens so often, right? I think it's just that a lot of people have similar stream schedules yeah dude the first hour and a half i played this game i didn't win a game it took me a while to figure it out this game is so bad and dumb you like n64 games well this is a good place to be and like they like never make their jump shots and stuff yeah, it, I I I, uh, I I realized that. Yeah, I guess this is arguably the best place to be. Yeah, it's consistently uh, N64 games. Fifty six points. All right, well, because you guys are here, I'll play another game. Actually, it's getting kind of late. It's getting kind of late. I do have to stop. Damn it, I don't want to. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for stopping by, though. I really appreciate the raid. Um, and yeah, if you guys like N64, it's, it's probably a good place to, to drop a follow and hang out. Um, I'll stream again. I'll be back on Thursday, where I'll, I'll finish this game. Um, let's see, so, oh, yeah, so we're, we're here now, we're at the finals, Jazz and the Knicks will save, and we'll stop, um,
Let's go. Come on now. In the Let's not. Uh, uh. Spruwell driving. Ah! Oh. Picked it right into the other guy's hands. No threes. Let's go. War. Oh! We're already missing layups. All right. Already missing layups. It's gonna be that kind of that kind of game. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, HRG, what's up, man? I was just watching you. What timing? Saw you playing some Xenoblade. A game which I have never played. Oh, spin move. Oh, crap. All right, we're making making jump shots. Been enjoying it. Nice. Yeah, I've never played it. I like I don't know anything about that series. What like what even is? I don't even know like the style of game. Yo, Ewing with the block in the spin move and the dunk. Yeah, I don't even know like what kind of like style game it is like. Is it an RPG? Like, is it turn-based? Is it like an adventure RPG? Like, I don't know what's going on. Oh, what? Give, give me that. Oh, spin move, God. Oh, okay, why? Why is it, this game? I, want, I don't want to say it got easier, because obviously I'll jinx myself. Yo, that pick the... Uh, Hey, the Jazz just suck. Oh man, really? Adventure RPG battle can kind of like that of an MM. Oh. Oh, okay. I got it. So, so it's Fable. Oh, yeah, you have abilities with cooldowns and stuff. Okay. All right, I can get down with that. Oh, crap. He's over. One minute to go. No, Russell. It's so confusing seeing B. Russell. Oh, it's... Dude, come on, guys. I was about to show you how it's done. Fables Combat. Yeah, this, so it has, I get it, it has auto attacks. Um, and then, like, yeah, abilities with cooldowns. Is there, like, a resource system? Like, is there mana and stuff? Or do you, is it just, uh, oh, come on. Or is it just the cooldowns? What? Shooting foul. Call shenanigans. Thirty seconds to go. 
Oh, oh, they're stealing that. Okay. All right, here's the rubber, the rubber band is, is on. Oh, give me that. Yeah, the rubber the rubber band is on. For sure. Oh, okay. Just yeah, just Jack and Final Fantasy VII. What's up, Crash? Mr. Crash Override. Alright, here's a question. Anyone wearing headphones? Do you hear a buzzing sound? Or is it all in my head? The game sounds like it's underwater. Damn it. So some, something is happening. If that's the case, some, no, it doesn't. Okay. No, because that literally was a problem um, a while ago with the game audio because I had a filter. Something sounds like it's underwater. Damn it. See, so yeah, I had a filter on uh, my mixer, my, my microphone source, uh, to boost the gain, and it was really messing with my, um, my game audio. But I didn't notice it because it was only happening after it was processed by Twitch, or by OBS. So I was hearing normal game audio because I'm just hearing it straight through the mixer. Something sounds like it's underwater, but it's not me or the game. That's uh, that's interesting. Let me, let, me, let me hit you with this one then. How about how about when I turn down myself and the game? Yeah, low, low hum. I had a, I had a, yeah, yeah, I had a feeling. So like, again, I don't know what happened. Um, I don't know what happened, but I, um, I have to turn up my mic a lot more than I used to. And so I get a hum because the mic is just turned up more. I don't, I don't know what happened. Like, my mic used to be, you know, used to be zeroed, zeroed out on my on my fader, on my mixer. Holy crap, they're winning. Um, I used to have it zeroed, and you know the gain wasn't up that high and everything. And now, I uh, like, I have to crank this stuff. I don't know. What, I don't know what the deal is. Uh, it's definitely turning the mic up. If I if I drop that fader on the mic, um, that that humming, buzzing, whatever goes definitely goes away. Let me in. Now, I see, like, another part of me thinks it might have to do with my mic and its proximity to my CRT. Do I have a gate on the mic? Uh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, you know what? I actually, I think I, I have something in OBS. I have some filter on. Noise suppression. The noise suppression filter in OBS I have on. But, oh no. Oh, I made it, okay. Yo, Kraken, what's up? 
full court shot out of nowhere. Uh, no, I need to be winning. Right now, we, we got problems. Because I, uh, I got a little complacent. And they are hitting every freaking three. I can't shoot threes because I know I'll just miss and I, I need the possessions. Because um, playing defense in this game is actually really hard. Really? I could, I could, but I don't think they're. I don't think the percentages in this game are as good as they are in real life these days. Yeah, if the hum comes and goes, that's kind of weird. I would assume it would always be there as long as I'm talking, because in my ear, it's it's always there. Wide open. Oh, come on. What am I, like... Dude, they, they can't miss. Such garbage. Meanwhile, I miss layups. I need, I need like, a lucky steal. You know, again, I miss those jump shots. And they hit every three. Give me that. Give me that. No. Yes, they missed one. Oh, we're just we're just open. No, and one. Come on. Freaking killing me. Yeah, let me... Yeah, I have the noise suppression filter on. But I actually... I don't know that much... Like, I don't really understand how to use the noise suppression filter in OBS. So I don't know, like, what the numbers mean. And there's, like, a little drop-down menu. Have you messed with that at all, HRG, or do you even, have you seen it? Oh, see, I, I get those, these little poke steals, but then they always get possession. All right, Latrell, bringing it back. I do it for New York. Like, turn around, turn around three. Using the gate. So there's, there's also a noise gate. Oh no! I didn't know I had the ball. All right, sweet, got it back. Dude, there was your out of nowhere full court shot, uh, Toad. It was a complete accident and it hit the back of the backboard. Yeah, see, that's why I don't, okay. I don't like noise gate because I remember trying it like years ago and yeah, it's choppy because it, it doesn't like eliminate frequencies. It cuts everything. That's really, you just use a noise gate if you don't want, like, something in the background cueing your mic. One minute to go. Expander can be better if you smooth it out. See, I don't know what that is. 
Good. Rebound. Yes. Uh, uh. Patrick Ewing. Yeah, Toad, see? The full court shot was so bad. I hit my own backboard. All right, we gotta, gotta guard these threes. All right, that's a two. Oh, he's gonna kick it back out? No. All right. Got nervous. Dude, I was winning leading up to that. I think. I think I took the lead right before that. Oh, but I could be wrong. All right, this is going to be the last possession of this quarter. Kraken, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. I'm glad you're finally able to uh, catch a stream. Oh. Thank you so much, man. That took a while. Oh, to like for it to register. Yeah, it can be slow. Enjoy your uh, your N64 heart emote and others, and enjoy earning channel points several times faster. So you can pet Bert more often. Oh no! The expander. Make it make quiet stuff quieter. Like a reverse compressor. Oh no! Dude, why? It's not fair. They're like 80% from three. Um, could be CRT related. Uh, let's, do a little, let's do a little experiment after this. Because now, now I'm curious. Because yeah, when, I, when my, before I like pull the arm out, when it's right by the uh, TV, it's the hum is like crazy. Or there is a crazy hum. I don't know if it's the same hum. This is by far the highest scoring game I've had. No! Finally missed one. This is when the wheels fall off. Yeah, I, I'm the, like, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking it might be the CRT. Um, I, it, it, if, I, if most people don't notice the hum, then it's kind of whatever. But obviously I would prefer to just not be there because I hate tiny little issues. They drive me crazy. Oh, that's interesting. Right. Am I collecting all the carts? I definitely do not have all the carts. Some of those are like significantly harder to find than controllers and worth significantly more money. Like, yeah, I have a Millennium uh, 2000 controller, which is like, far and away the most expensive controller but it wasn't it wasn't nearly as expensive when i got it um some of these games like clay fighter sculptor's cut are gonna be like hundreds of dollars 
Uh, and some games that I didn't get like years ago, like I could have gotten Bomberman Second Attack for like a hundred bucks um, a few years ago, and now it's like two hundred dollar game. So that sucks. Um, I only have my microphone and game audio. This one microphone and my game audio plugged into my uh, mixer. It's that it's it's definitely the microphone. When I turn down the microphone, my this mic, the buzz, the humming goes away. So it is this mic. It's just what's causing it to hum. Wait, Toad Fan, you also have the entire cart collection? I feel like someone else in this, someone else that watches has it. I think it was Boston Brew. Unless you're also Boston Brew. No! Why? Sixteen away from a full set. Uh, game audio is um, composite into quarter inch adapter, into quarter inch stereo, and the microphone is XLR. Yeah, Boston Brew is a, uh, a Smash player. I met him at a tournament in Boston called Shine. Uh, but yeah, he has, I believe, if I remember correctly, he has a full uh, set. Because uh, when I was playing, I, I was worried about Turok Rage Wars. Because I know, I know um, there's a bug where you can't beat it in multiplayer. And he said he had the gray cart. They just steal it right back. It's such garbage. So I was hoping he could dump the ROM for me. But he doesn't have anything to dump the ROM. So it's like, whatever. But apparently the bug is only for multiplayer. So I can still beat it if I play by myself. Is the mixer plugged into the same outlet as the TV? No, it is not. I like... I like your thoroughness. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't think I'll ever collect all the cards because some of them are just so... They're getting to be so rare and the, the price is just getting to be prohibitive. But I say that, but it's like if I get it now, then who knows? You know, gray cart might be worth like twenty thousand dollars ten years from now, and then like I would have it. Oh, that's crazy! I didn't even know about the no mercy one. No, it's it, I, I like I like that you're being thorough. Dude, again, like I just. He just made a bad pass because because rubber band. They're just gonna keep fouling me. And see, I'm like scared to try and run the clock out because they'll steal it at the last second and then score. Like this. And they're gonna hit a three. They're gonna tie it. Patrick is gonna shoot a three. Yes. It's almost like I've been playing this game for five hours. That wasn't a shooting foul. I was in the air. No. Now I have to foul them like crazy. No, he was in the air. They're going to give him a shooting foul. I hate this game. This game is so bad. Full court miracle. Yeah, this is what you wanted. I can't. 
I can't believe this. And I thought I would win. What a dope. What a moron. I can't even get a shot off in point nine in this game. I, I, I can't believe this crap, dude. The rubber band in this game is just so stupid. Yeah, you can't, you can't get a shot off um, in under a second in this game. You know, I freaking forgot to win the tip. Stockton's gonna hit this because he was open. Oh, we're getting we're getting offensive rebounds now too. How do you beat this game anyway? You win the championship. Which I'm in the championship series right now. I just lost game one. Because this game sucks. In the zone 99 is one of the one of the 16 you don't have. That's so funny. Should keep it that way. You should have, you should get 295 carts, and then purposefully not have this one. Um. No, because I, I don't want to call it difficult. It's just stupid. Like, this is not a... Oh, yeah, I turned off Out of Bounds. Uh, there's not, like, difficult tech in the game. Like, the game is not hard to play. Um, it's just dumb. Your only unknown would be Ocarina. I have that. I actually uh, recently sold, I had a lot of uh, duplicates. I had like seven copies of Mario Kart and stuff like that. And like six copies of Mario 64. Somebody had bought it for like 500 bucks, so that was kind of nice. Prices have gone down recently, so it was kind of a bummer. But I was just like, I don't want to hang on to these anymore. Oh, yes, that is actually a list I've made. If you type in exclamation mark progress, it uh, links you to my spreadsheet with lots of info on the challenge. And uh, one of the things in my like top 10 tab is uh, most difficult. Usually not reserved for like garbage sports games. Now, I will I will give this game credit for being like a basketball sim where nothing matters until the end of the fourth quarter. So it is like a basketball game. No, instead of like going for a full cart collection, I kind of decided that I want to get a few um, complete in-box games. Uh, one of them being Smash. Smash, Goldeneye, Wave Race, and probably like Shadow Man. Maybe uh, Mystical Ninja Star and Going On. That's it though. Some games that like I just like a lot and aren't like Crazy expand like you can get a, a, a complete in box smash right now for you know, hundred bucks. That's why it's one of my. That's why it's a donation goal. Donation goal. Um, especially after losing my uh, sixteen original copies of Smash Brothers, I was like, all right, I need. I should get one and just make it in box just to have it. Going on's great adventure. Now nah, I. I, I the first one is the game I like the most, probably. Because I played it the most. I, mean, I need to play Great Adventure again. Yes. Yes, I did. I had 16 original copies of Smash Brothers in a box, along with like 18 or 20 um, bootleg copies of Smash. 
that I used for tournaments, and they were all in a box. And that box got misplaced and taken out with the trash uh, after I moved. So yeah, it sucked a lot. Um, it's gonna bother me for the rest of my life. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So just gonna go for one copy of Smash now. I wish I could like intercept their passes because I know they're coming. Oh crap! No. One second left, man. Hey, yeah, I, I appreciate it, guys. But yeah, it just totally. Oh, so one second you can get, you can do it, but not point nine. Yeah. Uh, Zeltrix, that is a nice thing about this list is when I'm done with it, everyone will be able to look at it and see games they've played. They're like, oh, I, you know, I was the only person I knew that had this game, but he played it and this is what he thought about it. Um, so that's kind of cool. Like all the obscure ones, all the bad ones, all the good ones, I will have played them all and beaten them, not just played them. Yeah, a lot of people, a Rocket Robot on Wheels is definitely one that gets brought up a lot. Um, there are some other ones that people liked a lot that they thought they felt were like more obscure, like uh, Blast Core and Body Harvest and Space Station Silicon Valley. Um, you know, there's always like a couple Quest 64 fans and other, you know, more, more obscure ones like that and Shadow Man. Rally Challenge 2000. I've not played that. I've heard good things about Hot Wheels and Mickey's Speedway um, as far as racing games go. Hopefully, they kind of live up to the hype a little bit more than Beetle Adventure Racing did. I was a little disappointed with that one after how much people talked it up. Oh, okay. Rally Challenge was bad. All right. Um, I don't, is, is there like a circuit mode in Mickey Speedway? Yes. Okay. That's what, I, that's what I do in racing games. Like there's, you know, some kind of circuit. Um, I just do that because that's generally what you would consider beating a racing game. Maybe not like hundred percenting the racing game, but beating it, you like beat the circuit. Um, Whatever it takes to get those credits. Because, um, Micro Machine... No. Was it Micro Machines? Yeah, Micro Machine 64 Turbo had two different things. There was, like, a head-to-head -head and a challenge mode. And both of them, if you beat them, like, either one, you would get credits. So I did the head-to-head -head because challenge was much harder. Time trials are insane. Yeah, racing games, I've I've come to expect difficulty when I get to a racing game that I haven't played before. Um, those are generally the hardest games for me to pick up and beat. Because they just, if you're doing like a circuit, they generally just get harder as you play. Um, and the only way to beat them is just to get better at the game. <laughs> so there's a lot of like trial and error. Um, oh crap. So it's like a lot of just playing it and learning the tracks, um, getting used to the handling. Like it definitely, definitely takes some time for racing games, but I've, I've liked a lot of them. Some of them just take a while. Ah. Oh, sweet. 
It worked. Oh yeah, for anyone that was here on Monday when Jaime and I did our, our Smash Brothers CPU battle, um, that was pretty fun. And we decided we're gonna do another one next Monday where we're gonna draft teams. So it'll be 12 on 12. Each of us, we're picking from the pool of 24 characters. So that should be fun. Uh, the Rush games, they are just obnoxious. They're like broken. The Rush games and um, Top Gear Overdrive were just like broken games. Like the the circuit is like pretty freaking difficult. And the game at some points just like moves really fast and the cars crash. Like I really didn't like Rush. Um, Top Gear Overdrive, your car gets so fast that I, I would glitch through the ground sometimes just like driving um but yeah in general i have not liked the rush series i get why people maybe liked it when they played it growing up uh because when you play with friends you don't have to deal with like a broken cpu you guys are just like messing around and crashing and like having fun but playing circuit playing one player mode is a different beast it's like some of these sports games like hang time people love nba hang time but playing against CPUs sucked. Rush 2049 is better. Good. I am looking forward to it being better. I'm not looking forward to playing the game, though. <laughs> I had some people that were like fans of Rush 2, and they came and chatted, oh, I love this game. And I was like, yeah, but this circuit is garbage. And they're like, oh, yeah, playing one player mode is really hard. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, uh, I noticed. Uh, uh. Gotta slow him down. Nope. Last shot. Yes, get out of here. Let's go. All right, so now I'm curious, HRG. Oh, expander. Okay, so we have this expander. I just got a fatal error. Good thing you have the under on this game. Dude, our last game, final score was 50-something, 50-something. That was a all-time high for us. Yeah, three minute quarters. Three minute quarters. So, uh, score's gonna be low. I mean, am I doing round two for the stadium games? I, I haven't decided. I don't know. Um, do you get credits when you beat round one? Yeah, I don't know what the fatal error. I was worried I crashed OBS. It was right when I opened the expander. See, I don't, I don't, I don't know what these, I don't know what these things mean. Ratio, threshold, attack, release. I know gain. I see output gain. Detection, RMS. I don't know what that means. South Park Chef's Love Shack. Isn't that like a game show game? Don't I just win the game show? Yeah, no, I, I know what you meant by stadium games. Because um, I know there's like a round one and round two. I just I don't know if you get the credits when you beat round one. Or if you get credits when you beat round two. I'll have to go check. You do? Okay. Then uh, round one will probably be, probably be beating the game. Since you get the credits. Because round two is essentially like unlocking a, another difficulty after you beat it. 
Hey, you guys want to become famous? Don't click on that link. It is, but there are no opponents, so you can't lose. Interesting. Yeah, I'll have to look into that one also. Get him. You don't know what credits are in these kind like like you know this like the staff credits when you beat the game. They're like produced by blah blah. Special thanks to everybody. Alright. I was wondering when it was gonna start happening. It's gonna start raining threes. You get the credit. Oh, okay, sweet. Then yeah, I'll probably just do round one. Keep it simple. Maybe I'll have a sub goal for round two. For all of, all of my mini subs. <gasps> Threshold's where it kicks in and starts doing its thing. See, that's the thing. My, my meters are probably I mean, the game audio is one thing. Like, that's that's kind of low. Okay, so threshold, I get. Me oh, the meter's in OBS. Yeah, I mean, with game audio on, sitting there, like, hovering, you know, like, minus 45, Ish. Thirty seconds to go. It's yeah, the threshold on the expander is minus forty right now. It's so actually the expander's currently on right now, and I guess you you probably still hear the buzzing. Yeah, true. But so like, yeah, Jared, I just wanted to beat, I just wanted to finish this series. Oh, no, 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 pass. Yeah, just playing the finals. All right, so what if I crank up this threshold? Well, no, so the mic, uh, HRG, the mic is the whole mixer because that's what OBS reads as the mic source. Yeah, I'm, I'm really anxious to get the bottom of the ninth. Yeah, so threshold won't help me. No, the only thing that would really help me is if I can somehow eliminate whatever stupid frequency is the, the buzzing. Just, just ignore the expander, okay. Oh my god, rebound, guys. All right, get out of here, expander. You're not doing anything. All right, we need to get back on track. Bottom of the nine. EQ, yeah. That's kind of I kind of figured I would have to do some EQ. But again, we still it might just be the CRT. What if I just turn the CRT off? Hold on. Still hear it. See like this this is what it sounds like if I move the mic closer to the CRT. Wow, actually, those are, it's like two different hums. It's like gone right now. I just changed the position of the mic. All right, I hate everything. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the cables. If it, if it changes when I move the arm, 
it's probably a cable, right? I just never, I never liked having the mic in the, in the shot. Like if you watch my streams before I moved, it's not in the shot. And you can hear me and it doesn't sound awful. Mic angle to the buzzing? I don't think so. I, mic angle obviously matters for like, if you're getting a good quality sound out of your voice or whatever the source is. Cause like, like this mic, you go in the, you speak in the top, but other mics you speak in the sides and stuff. But I'm, I'm trying to cut down on this buzzing. Why would it be any different? I think it's angle toward away from it. I guess, sorry, Jared, I, I, I'm not following. Sim City scenarios. What kind of cable are you? I'm just using some generic XLR cable. I don't know where I got it. Probably like mono price. Dude, it had Bowser show up. It's gone, so don't touch anything. Yeah, I, I, I think it might be the cable. If it's if it's changing that much when I just move the arm. I, I knew you meant random there. I actually, I assumed you did. I was hoping you did. Um, I, I really wish they had made a Mario baseball game for 64. I would have would have played the crap out of it. Granted, we never we didn't have Mario Tennis. Play that in, I didn't play that till college. Was the air conditioner running? No, no, nothing changed. It was literally like I heard it change when I moved the arm. Patrick Ewing's gonna shoot a three. Superstar Baseball on GameCube. Yeah, I played. Uh, the. Oh, that was the game. Let's go. Uh, this bar we went to used to have like random game tournaments and uh, one time it was a Mario baseball game for the Wii and I was randomly really good at it. But I only played it that one time. Stream room is haunted. It's haunted. I hear it a little bit still, but not, not as much. I just came back even more. I don't know, man. Yeah, okay. I feel better now. But I still I still don't understand why uh, the mic just isn't like as powerful as it used to be. That's still bugging me. Where I have to like crank it more to get the same sound out of it. But whatever. When B and H gets uh when B and H gets them back in stock, I'll order one and swap it and return it. Got him. This course too bright. Oh no. No, I, I didn't hit any pad buttons. There's no, there's no pad button on the mic, as far as I know. I want to look up. Road pod mic. See, there's a pad button. I don't think there's a button on the mic. Unless there's like some hidden. There's this like weird little thing right here that has like it's like a circle with with three dots on it. That maybe it's like a a cover for like how to dis how you take the uh, mic apart. But there's no actual like button anywhere on this mic that I can see. Yeah, Rode, the pod mic, not the Procaster. I mean, it's, it's a good mic for a hundred bucks. 
Like, if you just need a mic, you don't need the headset or anything. Like, it's a good mic for XLR setup. The Yetis are like 150 or something. It's crazy. But yeah, I definitely, I don't have the pads or anything hit on the mixer. Phantom power is on. Yeah, I was, uh, I help, I do, uh, I like man the boards for, uh, this little podcast, uh, downtown. And, um, the guy that brings the audio equipment, he brings the mixer in every time. And it's always been like packed away in a bag or something. And there's, I, I always get to play the game of like, what buttons and knobs have been changed in transit? There's always something. Oh, you got a Yeti earlier, but now you can't stream. That sucks. Yeah, Yetis like I get people get them because they're USB, and it's like this qual like like a high quality USB mic. And like I get I get that if you if you just want USB. But I see people getting these, getting Yetis, and then hooking them up to their. Wow, you just got your own rebound! Oh my God, you're missing two, two dunks. Also, another funny thing about the Yetis is people don't realize it has the different like directional, whatevers. I, I don't know the technical term. So they're like talking into the wrong side of it, or. They're having it like pick up the sides instead of the front. I don't know, it's funny. Is it the Elgato effect? Kind of. Yeti is like a pretty quality product. Um, it's a little overpriced. Um, we had one at Blur and I really didn't like it. I just feel like it didn't it just didn't do a good job of doing what it said it would do. Luckily we didn't really use it for anything because we got we got lav mics. But Yeah, I, I don't know what Yetis go for when they're on sale. doesn't need phantom power that's good to know i always assume i assume everything needs phantom power but yeah using it like when it doesn't need it oh my god just dunk it shouldn't shouldn't mess anything up right because yeah I, I remember messing with phantom power and like turning it off um and turning it on and like not noticing a difference in the mic. So I, I just left it on. Yeah, it doesn't need to be able to just turn it off. Yeah, audio, like I'm not like super into cameras either, like DSLR cameras. So I don't know a ton about those, but I don't use one. So I don't, it doesn't matter. But audio is definitely like my weakest area as far as knowledge goes with streaming like audio engineering stuff like I get like I can set it up and like I, I understand the basics um, better than most people but when, once it gets into like really technical stuff uh, not so much is that a three most good ones do use it okay Dang it. Oh, wow. He just like slammed that. Most dynamics don't need it. Oh, yeah, but the con like the condensers do.
All right, condensers are much better mics. Well, for you got to be like right up in there though. And I, I didn't. See, that's what I didn't want. I didn't want to have to like have my have the mic like up in my face all the time. Yeah, like, um, honestly, like, what was it like, twenty eighteen? Um, someone linked me a video, um, some streaming video. They were like, they wanted my opinion on something, and they linked this video, and it was a, a Harris Heller video, and I was like. Actually, I kind of like this guy and how he explains things. Um, and so I watched a lot of his videos. Um, but one of them was going over different um, USB and XLR microphones. And he liked this one a lot for, especially for what it costs. Um, and, you know, he was playing around with it. And with, like, the right EQ settings, he got it to sound, like, very, very close to his like blue kiwi so i was like all right i'll mess with this dude come on asmr course now so uh, some of you might know this but i uh i picked up some like freelance see now now that i'm closer i need like a freaking pop filter uh picked up some freelance like video editing stuff on upwork and this guy hooked me up with um, a video editing gig for a YouTube channel that does like top 10 like scary video kind of things. You know, like freaky things we found on TikTok, like stuff like that, like really just cheesy stuff. Um, I just had to make the videos. Someone else made the script, someone else did the voiceover, someone else did a thumbnail. I just made the videos. Um, but yeah, I did, I did my eight videos and kind of like never heard from him again after he paid me but he hit me back up and he's like all right we might have some more work for you coming up I'm like all right sweet also you want to just pay me to do voiceover and thumbnail instead of paying three people and he was like actually yeah that's a great idea so i have i have to like up my my mic skills and my eq settings and everything so i have that smoother like voiceover ready sound yeah i might have, might have screwed a couple other people out of jobs but whatever gotta look out for number one. Oh, he got that car alone It is, man. Especially with like the way things are with just the gig economy. Like, you gotta just take what you can get when you can get it. Hell yeah. So if you ever stumble onto some small YouTube channel that's doing like top 10 videos I almost can't show you, um, you might hear me. That would be so funny. I wanna, I actually, I don't know if it's going to be for the same channel. It'll probably be for some other channel. All right, man. Catch you later. Thanks for stopping by. Always appreciate it. And guys, yeah, if you, if you like more retro stuff, Sega, Super Nintendo, NES, all that, Definitely check out Hilarum Gamer. He plays a lot of that. And uh, he's been playing, he was playing Xenoblade today, but usually it's some retro stuff. Final Fantasy 3 on Mondays. Which actually, one of the guys I do the podcast with um, was talking about, we were talking about our like favorite comfort games. Like we can just go back to it and play at any time, you know? And his was Final Fantasy 3, and he was talking about how much he loves that game. Made me made me want to uh, try it out. Oh yeah, and NHRG does uh, Sonic speedruns. Forgot about that.
Uh, he means six. He even said he's like, well, six, six in Japan. He's like, Someone going, someone's about to call me out, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, give me that ball. This game's way too close. Oh, come on, rebound. They're gonna start hitting threes soon. All right, all right, we'll take those. Yeah, Jared, that would mess you up. You'd just be hearing yourself. We definitely have uh, different accents on certain words, but yeah, we sound really similar. It's weird. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of weird. Who knows? It might be like, uh, I was going to say, like, we do have, we had two grandparents with Southern accents. So it might be like time spent with them during whatever developing years, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I also feel like I developed it more in college, so maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah, yeah, you definitely do. I mean, it's all about who you're spending time with and where you're spending time. Like, you know, I was in Ireland for a couple of weeks and I definitely picked up an inflection like when I was out of bars or something. That that was like that wasn't that much time at all. Oh, let's go. We got one. Latrell. He is. He will even choke out his coach. I can't believe I lost that one game. What a waste of time. Yeah, Jared, I don't think you and Josh were in the stream uh, after the first game, but I lost with, with one second left. Like, they got a steal and they got fouled, and it was just garbage. And I was like, and I thought I would win. What a dope. What a moron. Dude, what the hell? I really hope that I don't get to use that for the Dodgers. Dude, what was that? Oh no. Damn it. Dude, these 
just missing open layups and stuff will never not bug me. job there. Now take it to the hole. Oh, I'm all the way back there. No. Full court press now. Monster Jam. He's on fire. Give me that. Missing shots, getting rebounds, getting fouled. Oh yeah, and that that blown foul call where Pat where Ewing was in the air and they didn't give me a shooting foul. I remember that one. That was some crap. First game was rigged. Oh, that was uh, I didn't realize the shot counted. Nice. Come on! Oh my god! Why? Good, I deserve that, you know? The backbreaker. Not quite. Or did you? 30 seconds to go. Project Steals. It's that kind of game now. I need to get up by more than three. Oh, not shooting. Oh, that counted. Hell yeah. We're in there. We're in there. Four point lead. All right. Yeah, five point lead. Feeling good. But anything can happen. Actually, they're gonna hit, they're gonna score here. They're gonna hit this three, and then they're gonna steal the ball. They're gonna steal the ball here. Oh, 
not if I run away. Yes. I called that three, though. Called that. Hell yeah. Victory. Suck it, nerds. All right, we're getting there. One more. It's a best of five. Oh, man. Who knew how difficult the road to a title would be for the Knicks? Can't wait to sift through five, six hours, six and a half hours of footage here to find all the horrible moments where this game screwed me. Be a good video. Worst game I've ever played. I need as much clickbait as possible. Spin move. Big time. <laughs> I forget which basketball game it was. There was one where like you could turn fouls off and you just deck people. That was fun. Oh, yeah, Jared, I don't know. Oh, NBA Jam? No, no, no. I'm talking about, like, it was... It might have been Live 99 or, like, Fox Sports College Hoops. Like, one, one of the... It might have been NBA Jam, but I don't think so. But, yeah, it was really funny. I know you did that in, like, the old school NBA Jam. But NBA Jam became NBA Hang Time on 64. Oh, my God. Come on, dude. That's two I've missed. Yeah, it's a game I played. It was really funny. It was the same game where like I was shooting threes from like all the way out here in the, at the bench. But yeah, Jared. Uh, I was talking with Libby earlier, and I was just talking about like. Why the Jets are just like so much worse now than they normally are like we like really really can complain right now And I mentioned uh, Woody Johnson and she was like that's his meme and I was like yeah and I like like pulled up and we, I wasn't like 100% sure about the the US, the UK ambassador thing So I looked that up and I was right about that, but um, I didn't realize his first name is Robert um, so It's Robert Wood Johnson and I think when I first read it, I thought it was Richard. And we were like, wait a second. He's Dick Woody Johnson. Like three different names for the same thing, but it's Robert. Two shots. Oh crap. That would that would be something. Still, oh God, still not as good as the uh, the IOC guy. Uh, his name is Richard Pound, but he still goes by Dick. Yeah, th like this is rock bottom. Like the the two teams have gone zero and sixteen. This team is in a worse position than those right now. 
at rock bottom, the only place you can go is up. Yeah, tell that to underground. How long until we go up? Seriously. I do think that, like, the moment Gase is fired, they're going to win some games. I don't think the team's going to go 0-16. She said your whole life. Nice rebound. Yeah, yeah. No, I saw the schedule. I guess not as not as soon as Gase is fired, because uh, that is like a rough patch in the schedule for sure. I don't know, man. Oh, really? Like the rest of the schedule? I guess I haven't looked that far. Dolphins are a 500 team. I I. I think I think we'll split with the Dolphins. I don't think we'll beat the Browns. If only we could play the Giants. Could you imagine, could you imagine if, if like, you know, obviously it's not possible, but if the, the last game of the season was against the Giants and we were both 0-15. Every team in the schedule has a winning record except the Dolphins. We're going 0 16. I don't think we are. That's so hard to do. Maybe we can maybe we can beat the Bills backups again for a win. Yeah, like I'm I am hundred percent rooting for the Giants. To win games <laughs> like <laughs> we need we need those um the dude if the falcons went 0-16 we uh also we also have a stronger or whatever our schedule we would pick after them as well because of strength of schedule if the jets the giants and the, and the falcons all went 0-16 we would pick third Yes, I agree. Two minutes to go. They're obviously going to start winning games. Tough division, though. Wow, I was losing. When did that happen? The Jets are so bad that they distract me and make me lose this game as well. Come on. God, I hate this game. Just keep hitting threes. They play the Broncos at home. Easy win. Oh, yeah. Okay. God, we freaking lost the Broncos. What a bad game that was. Who did we get week 17? Our only chance at a real win. 
Wow, I was just thinking how we've like I've never I don't remember a single time we played the Pats in Week 17. Damn, that's rough. It was like always Buffalo, Miami. That would be the most Jets thing ever, though, to go 0-16 and still not get the first pick. That's exactly why it's going to happen. Don't get me wrong, I can picture it happening. Uh, I just don't think it will. I would not bet money on it happening. Dude, they just don't miss. Actually, yeah, I would be I would be curious to see those odds. They don't miss. Oh my god. Dude, stop. Can't get a rebound. They can't miss a shot. Pick that off. We can up by four. Two minutes to go. Someone's excited in the crowd. Sit down, Carl.
Getting the on fire mechanic is like the only way I would feel comfortable shooting threes. Oh man. Alright, needed that. Oh. I've missed more dunks and layups than they have three pointers. And that is everything you need to know that's wrong with this game. Good God. I'm going to lose this game now. No. And they get so many rebounds. Perfectly timed. Miss that one. the buzzer what a play look at this seven for ten what, what? that's making any sense i feel like they made a lot more i don't believe these stats fake fake stats i needed that i needed that so badly because i get the ball back here it's an extra possession No, they stole it. No. Off me. It's like, yay, I got a rebound, but it just shouldn't have been a miss to begin with. It just shouldn't have been. Sassy! Thank you so much for the raid. The host. We don't know what it is because Twitch doesn't tell us anymore, but I'm assuming it was a raid. That was like, he was like out of bounds, and he still made that three. Sassy raid. Hope you are doing better than me. Hope you had, got to have more fun playing your game than I am. 
playing one of the worst games ever made right now. No. No. That's it. That was that was the dagger. We are we are now in no faith territory. Oh, especially after that. Holy crap, dude. This game. Superman 64? No. No. Because you know what? You, you, can, you, can game, you can game around the bad stuff in Superman. You can't game around just garbage RNG and rubber banding. There's nothing you can do about that. And that's what this game is. This game is garbage RNG, a ridiculous rubber band, all wrapped into this. Just not good. All right, at least they didn't make that completely contested turnaround three. Like, when you think of bad games, generally you just think of games that are mechanically bad. You know, like some of those NES games, like a Superman. You don't think about the games that just have like a broken AI that's just too good. Or yeah, like just insane rubber banding. Because on the surface, on the surface, this doesn't look like worst game ever territory. But then you play it, and then you try and beat it. Like that. I can't make that shot. No way. No way. Just, just let me get in. No! Yes! Latrell! Yes! All right, so they're going to score on this possession. Really hoping it's not a three-pointer. But they will score on this possession because, of course, they will. No, contested. Get rebound. So, all right, they're going to start fouling me probably. Unless I can run away. If I can run away... We're good. I don't know if I can, though. I think we did it. Just had to run away. That was all it took. Just, just cheating. Oh, and, that, and that's it, right? Yes! That's it. We did it. It's over. Oh, and we got credits, which is rare for a sports game. So in a way, in a way, you guys are just in time. Yeah, I know. So I, I say this like every sports game, but one thing I'm kind of excited for is when I'm done, when I'm done beating all these games, I get to go back and be like, during this during this challenge, you know, the Knicks won this many uh, NBA championships and the Dodgers won this many um, World uh, um, World Series. It'll be it'll be it'll be nice. The Caps won the Stanley Cup eight times. It'll be fun. 
Oh, man. I am glad that's over, though. I wanted a short stream. It took a little longer than I wanted it to because we lost that one game, but not too bad. The Jets won eight Super Bowls in seven real life games. <laughs> yes, yes, I beat it. I beat it finally. Um, yes, yes, it's over. Champions. Press start. And that's it.